Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want right here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show, username lrn.fm. So feel free to reach out to us in that way if you prefer. I must say I prefer it if you've got the choice. Go ahead and try with Skype. It almost always sounds better than the phone. With you in studio tonight, Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. Of course, you can join us again on the on the, uh, the phone lines or on Skype. You can also, you can email the show, but you really don't, we really never re- read emails these days. No. Uh, so the best way to get interactive is directly uh, live with us. But another way you can do it is go to freetalklive.com. You can actually create the content on the website uh, everything that you see there on the front page as you scroll down, the uh, news items, for instance, those were all submitted by listeners like you and then voted on by our Free Talk Live listeners. So we'll get to hopefully some of that here tonight. Also, I uh, want to open the show with a man named Leland Yi. Now, I'd never heard of Leland Yi before, but that's probably because I don't live out in uh, California where he is in a bit of trouble, according to the L.A. Times. He is a senator. As details of Senator Leland Yee's alleged crimes have trickled out, advocates associated with gun rights group uh, gun rights groups jumped on the possible ironies. An affidavit filed in federal court in San Francisco by FBI Special Agent Emmanuel Pascuna said there was probable cause to believe that Mr. Yee had conducted various crimes, such as engaging in a conspiracy to deal firearms without a license and to illegally import firearms. Now, as liberty That's pretty minded, serious stuff. Well, now, right. as liberty-minded folks, I don't care if you want to buy or sell some guns. That really doesn't matter to me. As no, I, I believe that a person has the right to protect themselves. I believe they have the right to build tools. I believe, therefore, they, have, uh, they also have the right to engage in commerce with each other. Therefore, they have the right to engage in commerce with someone who, wishes, who builds tools to protect you. Right. I only object when it comes to aggressing against peaceful people. If you are going to use the firearm to threaten someone, then I'll have a problem with that. If you're going to use the firearm to harm another human being, that has not threatened you first. And I've got a problem with that, too. So they're not alleging that Mr. Yee has actually harmed anyone here. They're only alleging that he has engaged in what are considered to be illegal uh, sort of gun transactions uh, at the federal level. And so, again, I have no problem with what it is that he's done as far as buying and selling guns. But what I do have a problem with is hypocrisy. And this guy is full of that, apparently. So presuming the allegations are true... As you will discover here, Mr. Yi is a prominent figure in California's Democratic legislative majority and for years has crusaded against guns and violent video games. Well, they go hand in hand, don't they? Uh, so they again say he's been conspiring to deal firearms without a license, illegally import firearms. The criminal complaint revealed yesterday stated that Yee sought donations in return for connecting an Italian gangster from New Jersey with an international arms dealer. The gangster was actually an undercover federal agent, according to the complaint. Really, they went with the uh, the, <laughs> the Italian guy as the gangster? Well, let's see, uh, which of the six of us seems most like, uh, mm-hmm. most like a gangster? Anthony, it's you, <laughs> it's you, bud. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> The complaint said Yi talked tough about having shady contacts who could obtain automatic weapons. Do I think we can make some money? I think we can make some money, the state senator said, according to the complaint. Do I think we can get the goods? I think we can get the goods, he said. <laughs> the complaint says Yi described his approach to arms dealing as agnostic. Another quote alleged, uh, alleged by the complaint from Yi is, quote, People want to get whatever they want to get. Do I care? No, I don't care. People need certain things, he said. Later Wednesday, the citizens... I kind of agree with him on that. Absolutely true. People are going to get what they want to get, and uh, there are people in the black market who are going to provide them with what they want. It's just that it's a it's wonderful irony when a, a government person like this, a politician, gets caught red-handed in total hypocrisy and you usually don't get it at this level i mean usually what you see is like the sexual hypocrisy those are the easy ones to to bust right because we've seen story after story of 
you know, congressional uh, c- Congress people having sex with their aides. Or there was that one story about the the congressman who was playing footsie underneath the the bathroom stall, and he was an in anti. The yeah, and yeah, in the boys' room, he was an anti-gay congressman, but there he was, you know, engaging in uh, what was alleged to be a a way that some gay people apparently meet for sex in bathrooms. Well, so, at this particular place, I think that that was the idea. Um, that you know that this was the this was the place gay people went to do that. Well, yeah, for this. Well, in, this was a place that that happened. Yeah, and this was the protocol there. Yeah. So I also I, think that if anyone is uh, attempting to form a libertarian style band, that sexual hypocrisy would make a great a good name, great band name. So I don't have a problem with somebody being gay or meeting somebody in a bathroom. I think it's kind of tacky to meet somebody in a bathroom for sex, but you know, whatever. Um, the, whatever floats your boat. But again, the hypocrisy is just delicious and seems like it's almost typical when it comes to these politicians. If It seems like if you've got a politician yammering on about how it is they think guns are terrible or they think gay people are bad and shouldn't be able to get married, then just believe the opposite about that person. Yeah, whatever it is, um, they're probably actually for it and they're just or making to be money off it. of yeah. it behind the scenes because... If uh, guns were legal, then this senator, Senator Yee, presuming the affidavit is true, then he wouldn't be making as much money, right? Yep. Because because the guns are legal, you can sell these automatic weapons or whatever it was that he was buying and selling. You can sell them for a whole lot more because it's contraband, just like drugs. Drugs, you sell those for a whole lot more because they're illegal. So, uh, yeah, he doesn't want guns to be legal because that's money for him. Because he's a gun-running gangster. That's right. And really the question is, how long has he been running guns? You know, yeah, these this is of- his first time. Is he just dipping his toe in mm-hmm. the water? He's, uh, you know, he's been an anti-gun advocate for years in the Senate, and uh, now he's just yeah. dipping his toe in the water? I doubt it. I it really seems doubt unlikely, it. doesn't Especially it? Especially if he's claiming he's got people. He's got if the FBI is just now getting around to it, the chances are that this has been going on for a long time. So later Wednesday, the Citizens Committee for the Right to Keep and Bear Arms issued a statement ripping the 65-year-old San Francisco Democrat saying, quote, If these allegations are true, Senator Yee is easily the biggest hypocrite on gun control to walk the halls of the Capitol in Sacramento, if not the entire United States. Oh, so he's a California senator? Apparently. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to fathom this kind of activity on a scale as massive as these court documents allege. If Senator Yee and his fellow defendants are convicted, they're going to wind up in one of the biggest gun-free zones in the country, a federal <laughs> prison. Andrew Arulundum, spokesman for the NRA, said Yee was a hypocrite. The poster boy for gun control is a scumbag, he said. He was scheduled to be honored last week by the Northern California <laughs> Chapter of Society Professional Journalists, according to a statement on Yee's website, which says the state senator has authored numerous bills designed to make government more transparent. He's the recipient. Well, good. I'm glad. Similar journalism awards, including the Freedom of Information Award by the California Newspaper Publishers Association. State Senator Leland Yee of San Francisco will receive the Public Official Award for his courage to oppose his own Democratic Party leaders and the governor in 2013 with public criticism of efforts to weaken the California Public Records Acts. So apparently this guy did a few good things for transparency while he was yeah, in office. I don't want to make it seem like I don't believe in villains. I, I just believe that people tend to be hypocrites. Mm. Um, I, I think that once you put somebody in power, that that position tends to corrupt yeah i mean it sounds like he's done some good stuff and i i applaud him for it i'm not looking for this guy to get some kind of tremendous prison sentence but i do want people to know you know when you pick sides and you're picking the side of tyranny here these are the kind of people that you're i mean you're you're agenting out your rights to people and these are the kind of people because we're all these kind of people that you're aging them out to $500,000, $500,000, by the way, was was his bond. Uh, he had to surrender his passport and has been released on uh, on bond. So we'll give you a little bit more here about the case. If you're out in California and you've got some comments, maybe you're familiar with this character's history as a state senator and you want to share it with us a little bit more about him, love to hear that. 855-450-FREE or your thoughts on hypocrisy. It's Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is. And it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. 
Bit Brew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical Bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You got to see what they have to offer. Visit bitcoingeneralstore.com today. That's bitcoingeneralstore.com. Amanda Bosold here from Midas Resources. Today, March 21st, 2014, gold opened at 1339.50. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1387.93, 693.96 for a half ounce, or 346.98 for a quarter ounce. Again, that's 1387.93, 693.96, and 346.98. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up anything you want. Hypocritical California Senator... Mr. Yi has been arrested and charged with various federal crimes in regards to gun running. <laughs> now, also a band name. What's that? Gun running? No, federal crime. Oh, fe the Josh Noon and the federal crime. <laughs> Leland Yi is his name. He has been called a hypocrite and a scumbag by the gun lobby because he, for years, has apparently lobbied against violent video games as well as uh, the, the idea that one should be able to possess weapons for defending oneself. 
And yet there he was, uh, apparently helping broker some gun deals. We'll tell you more about the story here in moments. Uh, the toll-free number, if you want to jump on, is uh, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And that is the Pro XPN toll-free line. Will new technologies enslave mankind or liberate us? It depends on who has the better ideas. In the book Quantum Vibe Volume 2, Murphy, our favorite mad scientist, and his hard-drinking sidekick continue their epic mission to open a vast new frontier for humankind. As they navigate complex political and corporate intrigues on a terraformed Mars and colonized Vesta, dark forces are plotting to steal, murder, and start an interplanetary war. Whose tech will overcome? Whose ideas will win the day? Quantum Vibe is a popular Liberty-themed sci-fi adventure webcomic, and it updates daily. You can go read it for free at BigHeadPress.com. And if you're a fan or you just want to get a really great comic book for maybe a loved one to help introduce them to the ideas of Liberty, their latest printed version of Quantum Vibe, volume number two, is available now. It's 161 beautiful full-color pages available through Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and direct from the publisher at BigHeadPress.com. Of course, if you want to help Free Talk Live a little bit and get a great comic, you can just go to shop.freetalklive.com and enter the Amazon links there. Then search for Quantum Vibe Volume 2, add that to your shopping cart, and check out, and Free Talk Live will benefit from that purchase. So again, check out Quantum Vibe and the other great comics at BigHeadPress.com. Senator Yee, he's facing some serious charges at the moment. He's been bonded out on $500,000 bond after surrendering his passport, being taken into custody in San Francisco on Wednesday, according to the L.A. Times, was seen being loaded into an unmarked law enforcement vehicle under an umbrella, his wrists handcuffed behind his back. His arrest was part of a sweeping sting that unfolded in the fog and rain Wednesday morning as hundreds of local and federal law enforcement agents descended simultaneously on numerous locations. The targets also included Yee's Sacramento office and three-story home in San Francisco. The first Chinese-American elected to the state Senate, Yee was a leading candidate in the race to become California's next Secretary of State. Also arrested was a man authorities describe as a gangster named Raymond Chow, known as Shrimp Boy. After spending shrimp boy, that's right. After spending stints in jail, Chow insisted. Oh, I figured it was his morning show name. <laughs> He'd gone straight. <laughs> it's Johnson and Shrimp Boy. Wow. Honk honk. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Uh, Chow insisted he'd gone straight and had been honored for his volunteer work. But the indictment said that Chow, age 54, whose criminal history includes racketeering and robbery, has a position of supreme authority in the Triad, an international organized crime group. Chow is described as a judge in the organization. If one member of the group kills another, it's up to Chow to determine whether the killing was justified. Also charged with Keith, Keith Jackson, age 49, a prominent political consultant who had worked to raise money for Yee's political campaigns. It was Jackson, according to the federal complaint, who brokered some of the introductions between Yee and prospective donors that turned out to be undercover FBI agents. Among Yee's alleged actions, according to the complaint, seeking a proclamation in exchange for a $6,800 donation to one of his campaigns, paid for by an undercover FBI agent, and brokering a meeting between a prospective campaign donor and state legislators who had influence over medical marijuana legislation. That meeting also came in exchange for cash campaign donations that far exceeded legal limits and were paid for by the FBI, according to the indictment. So not only mm. did they get him on gun running related charges, they've also got him on campaign finance corruption charges. All told, 26 people were identified as having violated federal statutes in the complaint. They were accused of participating in a free-ranging criminal ring that dabbled in a spectrum of activities, including illegal marijuana grows and a scheme to transport stolen liquor to China. You're in California. Why would you do an illegal marijuana grow? Do a legal one. Uh, I guess you want to sell stuff on the black market still. There's still supposedly a market You can grow it legally <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what kind of controls they have, Mark, on uh, you know what what it takes to grow legally and what kind yeah, of. There might be some sort of an inventory a, process yeah, that accounting would prevent you from selling weed on the black market or inventorying. I'm sure some of it makes its way out the back sure. door. 
Uh, but nonetheless. So there you go. They were involved in, allegedly, all kinds of things. And just the hypocrisy on this is delicious. If we hear more about the case, we'll certainly let you know. And maybe if you're out in California and you're following it closely, you've got some opinions, or you want to give us an update as the case continues to develop, we'd be happy to hear from you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, but since we're talking about hypocrisy, Johnson, you happen to bring a related story in I tonight. did. Uh, I found this one actually via Facebook, um, and it's actually an older story. But I wanted to bring it up because I, I kind of I scoured the site to see whether or not you had covered it, and it doesn't appear that you have. So I think it would make for it an excellent discussion uh, sort of article. It's from Salon.com, um, written by R.J. S. Esco or S. Cow. I'm not sure. Um, but if you don't know, Salon.com is this kind of just this really despicable website it's very it's like ultra ultra left liberal and uh but usually the just, writing's good and they they're really full of themselves that's what they, I, when that, I, when that's, I say despicable that's for sure. when i'd say despicable i mean they are just so sure of their intellectual superiority and their opinions are really vile well you know i i, I love that because um you know either they are going to show themselves to have written a poor article or they're going to, uh, you know, point out really relevant stuff that I need to look at on whatever issue. I like Salon Slate. Um, I think that this is uh, it's it's usually rather succinct succinct compared to other uh, intellectual articles out there. It's not like the the New York Times where I've got to read a book to uh, mm-hmm. to, to, to get the good points out of it. Um, they'll often they'll do more and better opinion in my opinion. Um, you know, I just I, I happen to like reading them. I don't tend to agree with what they say most of the time. Well, it'll be interesting to see, hear what uh, yourself and Ian have to say on this article, and I'm 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 hoping that you know maybe maybe this will spark some debate, and hopefully uh, I, we can tear this article apart because uh, the article is eleven questions is eleven questions to see if libertarians are hypocrites. Eleven questions that expose their contradictions and faulty logic. All right, <laughs> let's have it. Libertarians. Well, have now a- you're talking our language here when you're talking <laughs> logic. Libertarians have a problem. Their political philosophy all but died out in the mid to late twentieth century, but was revived by billionaires mid and corporations. To late twentieth that- century. Wait a second. Is this a bunch of socialists saying that our philosophy died out in the mid to late twentieth uh, century? <laughs> I mean, this is what always amuses me: is the progressives are talking about their new ideas. Your ideas are 150 years old, and every time they've been tried, millions of people have been killed. Right. You know, a, a good portion of the population has been slaughtered because your ideas stink that bad. And they're saying that libertarianism was revived by billionaires and corporations that found them politically useful. Really? Well, right. I mean, we're what? all tools of the Koch brothers. I mean, everybody knows that. <laughs> 855 453. That's in the next sentence. We'll get there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it has to be. Eight, any critique of libertarianism has to include the Koch brothers. 855 450 3733. Take control here. We'll get to these uh, alleged hypocrisies in moments. Attention radio listeners, are you getting amazing results from your store-bought Omega-3? Since taking Omax-3, mental fuzziness is gone, I'm on top of things. My bad cholesterol had gone down, and my triglycerides had gone down. Being 53, sometimes it's pretty uncomfortable getting up and getting out of bed. With the Omax-3, I'm jumping out of bed, and the joints feel great. We want your Omax story next, so we're sending you a free supply. Developed by Ivy League doctors affiliated with Yale University, Omax-3 is clinically tested to help improve cholesterol and reduce triglycerides by 30% in just 30 days while fighting joint pain better than your store brand. You can also feel improvements in your mood and memory with your first free supply. Omax 3's pharmaceutical-grade omega-3s come individually blister-packed so it absorbs better and gives you faster results with no fish burps. Feel results in just days, guaranteed. Get your free supply today for just the cost of shipping. Call 1-800-672-4601. That's 1-800-672-4601. 800-672-4601. Running a business without being incorporated is like walking a tightrope without a net. One little misstep could cost you your entire business, your personal assets, and even your life savings. But no matter how big or small your business is, you can quickly protect yourself and your family by incorporating or forming an LLC. Call LLC.com today and we'll get you started by sending you our important free guide. 1-800-914-2967. At LLC.com, we don't offer legal or financial advice. We specialize in making incorporation simple, quick, and easy. In fact, we've been helping businesses do just that for over 100 years. 
Running a business without a safety net really is putting your whole future on the line and your family's future. Find out how simple it is to protect your personal assets by incorporating. Request your free guide by calling 1-800-914-2967. This is information you really need to know. That number again is 1-800-914-2967. 1-800-914-2967. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t-shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control of the airwaves. We're about to get called out as hypocrites here by Salon.com. Johnson has that story. You can also... Bring up whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, I am not a coffee drinker, but Mark, you certainly are. Yes, and I am. You are a daily, what, a pot a day? A pot a day. Something like that? Yeah. You, you know, well, if you're gonna... it's, it's, it's a good way to get water uh, without having to uh, <laughs> drink that foul-tasting no, water. Not, no. <laughs> coffee Sorry, is a diuretic. True. Well, yeah. um, you know, caffeinated coffee is I drink de- decaf. And... Ah. It's if you'll take a look, like there's this uh, urban myth that somehow diuretics don't get you hydration. It is just not true. Yes, hmm. um, yes, you can be more efficiently hydrated with water than you could with coffee. But the fact is, is there are people on the planet that simply don't consume water and only consume caffeinated beverages hmm. like Coke like you. and coffee. Not me. I I, I do drink water um, often, but uh, and and but and you like your my coffee. decaf is not caffeinated. And you know you can like coffee. It's okay to like coffee. A lot of people love coffee. In fact, you can just like it because it tastes good. Mark, not some excuse about it delivering water to your body. No, no, that's uh, the reason I like it. Coffee.freetalklive.com is actually where you can go to get a free pound of the very coffee that Mark drinks. That's Buzzbox Coffee. And it's 100% organic, shade-grown, and top 1% grade Arabica. This is not only great coffee, because there is also something you need to know about BuzzBox. They're doing something special that no other coffee company that I'm aware of is doing. They're actually, they've set up a co-op program, a program that allows people to buy into that co-op from around the world. People in uh, difficult places, parts of the world, third world countries, for instance. Uh, And also, there's a separate program from that which uh, they're doing in tandem with Free Talk Live, where if we can recruit a 1,000 Free Talk Live listeners to order their coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com, that'll help And we're doing quite well. Dozens and dozens of people have signed up. I don't know if if we're up to hundreds yet, but uh, we're certainly in the the, three digits. 
Now, there was some question mark uh, earlier, and I don't know if you did the research to find out the answer. I'm going to put you on the spot here okay. uh, about some of these these microloans. The question was, you know, how has that been going? You're saying dozens have signed up. Yeah. We're not waiting to a thousand to give out loans, right? Like, are they giving out loans all all along? Like, if we get a if we get a hundred, are there are there going to be some loans given every, out? Every um, every ten people that sign up with Buzzbox, we uh, fund another micro loan okay. to people around the world and third world countries to create their own business. Good. So ideally, we'd like to have a thousand listeners, but they're giving out the loans uh, right now, and so we're financing micro loans through World Vision. You can help change people's lives by offering people in poverty an opportunity to make their own lives better through starting their own business. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You get great coffee, and you can get a pound for free right now. You just pay the shipping cost, and you can cancel your ship uh, your subscription at any time. That's coffee.freetalklive.com. I'm, sh- I'm sure Mark takes his coffee like he, ta- like he takes his women, shade-grown and fairly traded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got this. I have no idea what that means, but it's a little amusing. <laughs> the story from uh, Salon.com, Johnson, you're going to share with us 11 alleged hypocrisies about libertarians? That's right. Um, so just to repeat the, that first sentence again, it says libertarians have a problem. Their political philosophy all but died out in the mid to late 20th century, but was revived by billionaires and corporations that found them politically useful. And yet... Libertarianism retains the qualities that led to its disappearance from the public stage before its reanimation. Now, like, this but- history this history is just awful and bad. Um, so I don't know what they're trying to say about the philosophy of libertarianism dying off in the mid to late 20th century, but I don't think libertarianism even really became libertarianism until Murray Rothbard um, you know, penned much of his work, which was the mid to late 20th century. Mm. So are, what are they talking about? Classical liberalism? Is that what they're referring to here? That you know, these, these liberals referring to classical liberalism as uh, you know old ideas and I I can see where they're coming from you know many of those ideas had to be built uh, built upon and and um, you know they're they, they, they've been cast aside much of it mm. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. well yeah Mark, I have no get, idea let, let's, I know that Ron Paul filled an arena full of college students and others at a Syracuse University just the other night well, we had this somebody article, call in to tell us about that actually so I'm pretty sure the Koch brothers had nothing at all to do with yeah. that. Ron Paul, well, who this is article a, at the very top of it has a picture of Rand Paul. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> so that a different. Give you a little bit of a clue, and, and that's a different story. You know, I mean, is this is sort of the more mainstream uh, palatable? Well, what's funny is Rand Paul. Openly he's not a says, libertarian. I'm not a libertarian. Right, yet they that. have a picture of Rand Paul. Right, he says the article. that. So and this Ron just Paul, shows how uninformed they are, right there. Ron Paul is a mediocre to less than mediocre speaker. Um, I mean, you know, of, of public speakers out there, mm-hmm. he's not some kind of superstar and uh, you know a politician sees not some kind of superstar i think that there's many better public uh, speakers than politicians um in most cases but this guy can fill stadiums if he wants to he doesn't because because he's not a particularly vain individual right that's because the ideas are good and and i don't know if he wants to fill the stadiums but the stadiums do get filled and that's because people like the ideas of liberty they want to hear more about them and they want to be near other people that like those ideas too. It's a good way to meet folks. Even though Ron Paul may not be a top ten list speaker, he's good enough to communicate the ideas effectively, and people do yeah. want to hear what he has to say. So to continue with that that sentence, uh, it says, "And yet, libertarianism retains the qualities that led to its disappearance from the public stage before its reanimation by people like the Koch brothers." It doesn't make any sense. They call themselves realists, but they rely on fanciful theories that have never predicted real world behavior. They claim that selfishness. Well, you know, this is this is a pretty good um, uh, analysis. Like, there's never been a voluntarist uh, nation or state. Um, there, there have been attributes that you can look at. There's attributes that you can look at today, but well, it, no, it, it but hasn't existed. Blank- but making a blanket statement like that is ridiculous. To say well, that libertarians have never predicted real-world behavior? Bitcoins. Um, what? I mean, anytime <laughs> the government prohibits something, we know what's going to happen. It's going to go underground. The black market's going to take care of it. Libertarians are actually pretty good at predicting real-world behavior. One of the uh, reasons behavior. why I've stuck with libertarianism is because libertarians are by far and away better at predicting things than either the Republicans or the Democrats. Look at all the Ron Paul you know, economic predictions oh, that my, uh, came yeah, true. Economic predictions, military predictions, 
foreign policy predictions were, were, you know, like it's just it's ridiculous i mean they the, the the incumbent parties are so wrong all the time and libertarians get it right over and right. over ron and over paul would, again. would say if you go over and libertarians would say if you uh you know take the military over into a, a foreign country and start bombing uh people that people are going to get upset about that their family members being killed and they might just retaliate with blowback. some more violence yeah right. blowback Yep. I mean, before I, I've I've been looking and, I, you know, I haven't had the time to really sit down and go through it, but I know I've got audio myself. You know, when I was first looking into libertarianism, uh, you know, and just learning about Harry Brown and all this in uh, 2001 or no, pre 2000, mm -hmm. because it was before the Bush election saying if Bush gets elected, he will be at the time the worst president that the country has ever seen by far and away. I've got myself on tape so saying that somewhere beforehand. So, again, predictions based upon libertarian ideas just generally they're typically right you know and again it was like that's because oh, libertarians guy. look at economics and uh, and they've, they've got a good perspective on it and which is human, human behavior human behavior right not just economics though but the ethics of people as well because most people don't take that into consideration they don't take into consideration people's so how much more build up are these guys going to write here before they actually get to the first point uh, there's only there's only a couple <laughs> paragraphs but i mean you, you, you guys have jumped in i haven't gotten three sentences yeah no i gotcha article, so. we don't do that yeah <laughs> well you're gonna have to hold on because will's on the line in texas you're on free talk live will hey i gotta do or, oh, well, will. hey what's on your mind tonight will uh, yeah, I listened to the March 24th episode, and you were talking about the kid who was told to not bring his My Little Pony uh, backpack or whatever it was to school. Yeah, for fear that's of correct. Bullying. And then the I heard the part where the school was backpedaling and said, oh, and, you know, we've done something or another to make it better or whatever. Or get behind, you know, they change their position basically. That's right. There was a the, the young young boy had been uh, bringing My Little Pony lunchbox and backpack to the school. He'd been bullied. The school told him it was basically his fault, and he needed to stop bringing those things to school. Story went uh, national, and the school backed down on their their ban of him. Did you want to comment on that story? Well, yeah, kind of sort of a powerful experience. Okay, great. I want you to tell the story, but hang on so we can give you enough time here in moments. More with Will and his personal experience. Maybe he's a brony. We've been looking for a brony to call the show. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control here, and we'll get to the 11 alleged hypocrisies coming up. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of 
where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas. Liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm Free Talk Live, take control, toll-free number here, 855-453. we have got the 11 hypocritical things about libertarians, uh, allegedly, that Johnson will be sharing with us from Salon.com. Also, your calls and thoughts about whatever's on your mind. You can join us, of course, online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features that are waiting for you there. We do have listening options, so you can get tuned into our live streams. There's broadband, midband, and narrowband versions of our streams, which air the latest episode of Free Talk Live at all times. So during our live show times from 7 to 10 o'clock at night Eastern time, you'll hear the live show. And then after that, for the next 21 hours, you'll hear that very same show repeated uh, multiple times. So you can go and get tuned into those streams at listen.freetalklive.com and learn more about our over 140 radio stations from coast to coast that air the show, actually coast to coast and beyond, that air the show on a vari- on a you know various different days and times throughout the week. Plus, we've got satellite listening options, which include free to air, which means if you're in North or Central America, you've got a view of the southern sky, you just buy some cheap satellite receiver equipment and you never pay a monthly free, uh, fee to listen to Free Talk Live or any of the other great LRN.FM shows. Plus, you've got webcam that you can watch, listen to, and interact with other listeners due to the chat room built into the cam page. And our listen lines that allow you to call from any phone that can dial long distance and listen that way. Go to listen.freetalklive.com and learn more there. Again, that's listen.freetalklive.com. As we go back to Will in Texas, you're calling in reference to the story we talked about earlier this week about the nine-year-old boy who was suspended for bringing, yeah. uh, he was basically told he needed to stop bringing his My Little Pony backpack and lunchbox to school, and you said you had a personal story to relate. Well, yeah, about bullying in schools, and and, and, and I want to thank you guys for introducing me to Amazon. I heard about them a long time ago. I always shot the link, and I have spent, saved a lot of money on Amazon, and I have saved a lot of money. Oh, thank you for that. We appreciate that. Because when you shop through shop.freetalklive.com, it helps us out. So uh, go ahead with your thoughts, Will. Yeah, so anyway, I, uh, uh, I would rather have more information in front of me. But I, didn't have much, I had a small window of opportunity to talk to y'all. But uh, my wife had a co-worker whose daughter or niece or was having special needs. And she's like in high school, 14 or 15 years old or something. And she's getting bullied at school. You know, she's special needs, and that kind of stuff happens. But she was trying to get, I don't know all the details, but she was trying to get the school officials to do something about it, you know, reduce it or stop it or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, 
you know, basically we're like, oh, you know, not doing anything about it. And, you know, right now the big whole big thing or one big thing going on is like stop the bullying and all this junk. Wait, wait so a second. Because anyway, um, bullies have always responded to stop bullying campaigns. Yeah, that's that stopped it. Yeah, I just want to ask a couple of questions. So you say she's special needs. Is she sort of obviously special needs, or is she just kind of like me, weird? Um, and, you know, I, I just well, don't. Yeah, and unfortunately, I don't have enough information, but okay. I think she's in special classes or whatever. So okay. Because, I mean, know, it seems board. like really, really low to go after somebody who's obviously special needs. Um, I don't, you know, it's been a long time since I've been in Bullies public school. Bullies are not exactly known for being honorable. It didn't happen that way when I was in high school. Usually the, the few kids that were there that were, you know, obviously special needs, people, you know, made special concessions for them and moved out of their way and, you know, gave them, um, you know, but weirdos like me got picked on because we're just odd. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that she's you know, full grown, you know, uh, re- uh, I don't know the proper term anymore. Yeah. I got <laughs> the you. Full blown mentally disabled. So maybe she's got, you know, whatever, uh, Asperger's or something, quote unquote, minor. So whatever. regardless, she's being bullied. Yep. Got it. Yeah. And the mother was, you know, trying to get some, get the school, the people to do something about it, you know, and they're, they're they weren't going to do anything. I go, oh, yeah, what was it? Kids were sending her text messages and met and emails and stuff and harassing her on Facebook, saying, "Why don't you just die?" I wow. remember now. Mm-hmm. You know, you're such a retard or whatever it is. Why don't you just die or whatever? And and that's a big thing now. You know, cyberbullying is all over the news and everything. And anyway, my wife was telling me that uh, they wouldn't, the school officials wouldn't really do anything. So I guess the mother spoke with a resource officer or whatever, and then he. Uh, they wouldn't do anything. And then the school got mad at her, at the mother, for you know trying to. She couldn't get the principal or anybody to do anything about it, so she went above their heads, so to speak, or mm-hmm. whatever. And and they got mad, and they started harassing the girl. The school officials started harassing the girls. You know, the girl telling her her clothing wasn't dress code and that kind of thing, or whatever. Wow. You can imagine. You can imagine how bad you know <laughs> they retaliated. You know, uh, against the daughter. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but so. Is it, and the the wife well, was talking about this, and and she last thing she had told me was that the mother was trying to get media attention. Lo and behold, I, we had recorded some kind of show, and at the very end of the show, I was getting ready to delete it. They're like, "Let's hear a story about this plain old girl who's being picked on, and what the school was doing about it." And it was her. And that story was on the media was saying, "Oh, the schools are trying to stop bullying, and everybody in the school is now wearing a shirt to approve, you know, we support." Well, I forget the girl's name. You can probably look it up on the internet, Plano, Texas, teen bullied or something, you know, and, and I just thought it was funny or I wasn't surprised that the school was actually pretending like they were into it and trying to do something so about it. So what you're saying, and let, let me see if I can uh, recap what you've said here. You're saying that mom tried to go in and talk to the school uh, bureaucrats and get something done. They didn't do anything, in fact, retaliated instead against her daughter. But then when the news media got wind of the story, all of a sudden they t- changed their tune? Yeah, and there's wearing T-shirts and all kinds of stuff, you know, to give the school good good PR or whatever. And, you know, and I, I don't know what it is. I haven't gotten any updates from it, but I, I was just reminded about your reminded about that. And of course, I remember being in school too. You know, the bullies were the people that the school officials never messed with. It was always the people that were like me doing good grades. It sure seemed like, like that. Well, I can relate. And thank you for calling and telling the story here tonight at eight fifty five four fifty free. Well, at least bringing some attention to these cases can change how things play out, but will it change it for very long, or will it only change it for the period of time in which the media is interested? In which case, when the media finally uh, drifts away and their attention goes to other matters, as it inevitably will, what then happens to the uh, daughter with special needs in this case? What then happens to your children when they're in these places? And the best answer for me uh, is to get your kids out of government school. If you don't want well, them to be bullied, don't put them in a place where there are bullies. The special needs kids have it the very worst because it costs a lot more to you know, educate or 
uh, essentially, to some extent... Well, it costs a lot more in the government school system because they spend a lot more on purpose because they want to get bigger budgets. There are a lot of points, I think, good points out there, as some will uh, will show, that when you take a special needs so-called student out of the special needs programs at the government school and actually put them in a in some sort of school where people really do have an interest, a genuine interest in, in helping... With, in, I'm not saying all the teachers in the government school don't have a genuine interest in helping special needs, but there seems to be, let's just say, an overdiagnosis of so-called special needs. That well, you, th- you're right. There have been plenty of stories, plenty of stories where you take a kid who's, uh, you know, a, an underachiever, special needs loser out of a public school, and suddenly they, they blossom and they do great um, outside because they've been. You know, but their their attributes have been given an opportunity to to grow. Right, they may be very very talented in some areas. Uh, they may be very interested in learning in a certain way, and the government special needs programs are forcing them. You know, like the old square peg into the round hole. They're trying to force them into this one size fits all system. There's no. Oh, maybe. sorry, Johnson. Try that again. There's no maybe about that. That's what they're, what they're doing. I yeah. Mean, period. They do that to everyone. It's not just about special needs people. That's what they do to every single student. Right. So I think that uh, I think the whole special needs program is just a big money bomb for the uh, for the government school system. You also just have to think though, when you're in that kind of environment every single day and you're just getting negative energy from every single person around you. I mean, just every day on top of being in a program that just has absolutely no, uh, interest to it. I mean, if you're being, you know, the, the square peg that's being forced into the round hole, you know, constantly, and you're, you're trying to do a program where you're just learning things that are just going to be completely irrelevant for the rest of your life. I mm-hmm. mean, I know maybe in a special needs program is a little bit different, but just in general, in a general student program, and then on top of that, on top of that mind numbing drivel, that is the, the scholastic program that schools are nowadays, you know, just trying to drill things into people and make them pass tests. So it's already a miserable place to be. But on top of that, not having any respite from, uh, you know, from that with friends and, you know, people to kind of lift your spirits up Mm. and get you over that horrible program. No, instead, you're getting negative attention all day long. Share with us your thoughts here. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. Still to come, Salon.com will be critiquing libertarianism, and Johnson has that story. We'll share that with you. Also, uh, there's other news about Bitcoin. Apparently, and this is actually another Salon piece. Libertarians have lost the battle for Bitcoin's soul, <laughs> they say. If we get a chance, we'll tell you about that as well. But your calls come first here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and hour number two is coming up. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three quarter inch pre finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22 month special financing is available. So go to lumberliquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. Breathe it in, kid. Clean, fresh air thanks to these new air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are stronger than ever. And Granger's got over 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from. Just ordered a new batch from Granger.com today. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash air handler or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,326, silver at $20.29, and Bitcoin is trading at $592. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush, online at SovereignBTC.com. And from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy at 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216624. And from the Soleil School, enrolling children from 5 through 10 in Austin, visit soleilschool.com. And now the news. Security fixes that address the problems Mt. Gox blamed for the loss of bitcoins were put into place Wednesday. PC World reports that the software, known as Bitcoin QT, has been renamed as Bitcoin Core. The rebranding is intended to show that it runs the core infrastructure of the cryptocurrency's transaction and verification network. According to the release notes, the latest version of Bitcoin software contains more than a half dozen fixes for transaction malleability. A surprise appearance Tuesday at the 2014 TED conference in Vancouver, Canada. Brian Hagen has this story. NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, by use of a remote-controlled satellite robot, appeared on stage to address the conference goers, outlining why he took the risk to make off with 1.7 million documents from the agency. I don't want to harm my government. I want to help my government. Snowden told the crowd that stopping terrorism is not the goal of the NSA's massive surveillance program. The bottom line is that terrorism has always been what we in the intelligence world would call a cover for action. Terrorism is something that provokes an emotional response that allows people to rationalize authorizing uh, powers and programs that they wouldn't give otherwise. Snowden concluded his talk by saying, We don't have to give up our privacy to have good government. We don't have to give up our liberty to have security. I'm Brian Hagan reporting for the Liberty Beat. The Obama administration won't give up the fight on climate change. On Wednesday, the White House revealed a new website serving as a one-stop location for a massive amount of climate change data. The LA Times reports the information contained on the site had previously been spread across the websites of numerous government agencies. The website is President Obama's latest move to deliver on his promise to use his executive authority to confront climate change despite congressional inaction. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering ProPure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water as well. Find them in Austin at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And from Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Wednesday, Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen stated the U.S. Central Bank would likely end its bond buying program by the fall and begin raising interest rates in the first half of 2015. Speaking at her first news conference as chair, Yellen discussed the bond buying program known as quantitative easing. Yellen stated that the Fed planned to wait a considerable time before pushing up interest rates. When further questioned how long this would actually take, the chairwoman's answer? Six months. The General Counsel in the Office of the Director of National Intelligence told the U.S. Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board that a recently revealed foreign surveillance program is specific with its targets and not bulk data collection. Robert Lidd is quoted here, getting a whole bunch of communications, hanging on to them, and then figuring out later what you want. This is not that. This is a situation where we figure out what we want, and we get that specifically. Litt was responding to a Washington Post report on the Mystic program, 
which reportedly is capable of recording 100% of a foreign country's telephone calls. You've been listening to The Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. Retail giant CVS is gearing up for floods of customers seeking the perfect meaningless piece of crap for their office gift swap. The company is making no secret that when it comes to wasting the obligatory $20 on a useless electronic dartboard or a pretzel maker for someone you couldn't care less about, CVS is your best option. Our incredible selection of worthless shit is just the thing that nobody wants. We guarantee you'll find nothing personal or unique in our store. The company is offering massive discounts on otherwise unsellable items for holiday parties you don't even want to go to, like the $12 decorative lantern, which is expected to be a big hit with customers who grab the first thing they see when they walk in the store. I really wanted to get something that said I don't care about any of you people and I didn't put any effort into this. CBS also has Hanukkah gifts for co-workers who you think might be Jewish, like candles and those little plastic net bags full of chocolate money. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you on the site. You can actually go there and create the content as well. So the stuff you see on the front page was all put there by listeners like you. So thank you uh, to those of you who are participating and have participated in making our website a, a valuable place to go, not just uh, for us, but also for you to find out what other Free Talk Live listeners think are interesting news items or blog posts or YouTube videos. Whatever link you want to post up there on our site, you can do that. You do have to have a free Reddit account and free Free Talk Live account. You link the two accounts together in a very short, simple process, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. So go there at Free Talk Live. Dot com. We go and continue with your calls and thoughts. Then coming up, 11 alleged hypocrisies by Salon.com against libertarians. We'll get to that. But first, we've got Kurt. He is on the line in Michigan via Skype. Hello, Kurt. Gentlemen, how are you tonight? Welcome, sir. Good to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be heard. I heard you're coming to New uh, Hampshire soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come out next week. For a visit. Uh, stay coming for, for a, a few visit. days, yeah. Um, I got the opportunity to uh, take a few days off. It has been six months since I've taken a vacation, so uh, I figured I'd take a day to drive out, spend four days, take a day to drive back. Cool, man. Yeah. That's not why you were calling tonight, but uh, what, what no. was your reason for calling? Well, uh, one thing I want to say is, is you know, I, I agree with you guys 90% of the time. I mean, you know that. I've met you all, and I, I, I like you all, and even more importantly than that, I respect you all for your contributions to liberty. So I, I want to make the point that I only call when I disagree with something. Yeah, it makes for better radio and anyway, Kurt. It does. It does. And um, I was actually thinking about not making this call until I heard three words that one of your guests in Texas said. Uh, he was uh, represented, I believe, the Blue Ridge Liberty Project. <laughs> and he said, truth over comfort. And I, I knew at that point that I had to make this call. So. Okay. My question is, why do so many ostensibly liberty-minded individuals do mental gymnastics and contort liberty 180 degrees to arrive at a feel-good conclusion? Which case? I mean, it do it's done. Well, Certainly it's done. But well, in, in, um, well, in my calls to Free Talk Live, you know, sometimes I advocate positions that are not as popular. Uh, in regards to, say, animal rights or children's rights. And, and I base my, my uh, um, conclusions on base liberty tenets. And I feel that sometimes the arguments made are in direct conflict with base liberty tenets. Especially in regards to children's rights and their and their right to an upbringing. Well, are you saying that this is the case with the expression truth over comfort? I'm saying that in some regards, people are picking comfort over truth. Okay. Insofar as even, even on this, this show itself, in conversations with me, I've had birth 
equated to a crime against the person who is born for which recompense is required. Yeah, I think that that was with a caller, wasn't it? Well, that was also with Stephanie, and who's not there to defend herself. Herself, and and there, you know, it, you're kind of like that with animal rights. No, I, uh, I am. Mark. I am. I do believe that, uh, you know, that animals do have rights. You're right. But I, I believe that that is in direct contravention to to base liberty tenets. Well, that may or may not be true, but you're simply going to have to show me. I don't believe right. that I'm picking truth over comfort or comfort over truth at that point. I believe, in fact, that I have come to this conclusion from the other side. I was of, of the opinion at one point animals didn't have rights. But the question is to me um, is, is how does one go about claiming rights? Who has rights? Well. Well, is, is it not a base liberty tenant that each right-bearing entity has the same level of rights and that one right-bearing entity or group cannot decide the level of rights for any other right-bearing entity or group? I don't know if that's a, uh, a base liberty tenant or not. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Well, I mean, you'd think it would be. I mean, I can't, as a, a group or a person, say, Mark, this is the level of rights that you have, and you'll just have to deal with that. I, I think to, to some extent you've got the matter. rights you can uh, that you claim for yourself that uh, you can defend. Rights are negative; they okay. come from the inside. Um, that uh, when you give up, uh, you know, self actualization, which many domestic animals do, that you also give up many of your, your rights. You know, the only tenet that I subscribe to in terms of liberty it comes down to one. I only have one, and that is to minimize aggression. Period. Done. Over. That's it. Minimize aggression. And that is that is what. Minimize aggression. Not aggression. It's not necessarily. Minimize not, aggression. But minimize aggression. I mean, yes, I would like to see everyone adhere to the non-aggression principle. But, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, I I just think in terms of when whenever a question arises, well, what's the minimum amount of aggression? It just, that it always comes back to that, you know. So if we're talking well, about animals having rights, well, right how do we minimize aggression? aggression? You know? Well, is it aggression against animals? Because uh, you can you aggress against a non right bearing entity? Uh, pretty well, pretty clearly, it's aggression against animals when you you know you're cutting them up and eating them. You know, if you were to do that to a human being, I think if you were to do that to a human being, you would very clearly say that that was aggression. Now, whether or not you can say that human other human beings can't do this, can't eat animals, that's a different question. Well, I'd like so, to just throw in here before you guys go on that. Right. I, that I uh, I don't think animals have rights. I think that uh, rights are a uniquely human concept that we have because the theory about rights is that you have to agree with other people that they exist. Otherwise, they don't exist at all. It's just why, an idea. Why, it's why just do you have an to agree agreement. with other people? Well, otherwise they won't respect your rights if they don't agree with your uh, your rights. Well, so that much is true. My point being that animals don't have rights, but that doesn't mean I don't support them being treated nicely right. and that exactly. animals shouldn't be respected and that they shouldn't be considered to be are, you know, very very similar to human beings and treated well. My my idea of rights has to is centered around self-awareness. And whether or not some And reciprocation as not, well. Whether or not a that's, being can that's claim, the key is reciprocation. Well, true, but I, I also think whether or not a being can actually claim to have rights. Well, but you have to have in order to be able to reciprocate, you have to have knowledge. So I mean, right. being a prerequisite of that, I think reciprocation covers it. Well, now just so, hold on suddenly, a second. You know, just because the dolphin can't need speak to, to you doesn't mean the dolphin wouldn't like the idea of rights when presented it in its own uh, language. So I don't think See, that this is the problem I have, Kurt. Is is there's things out there called hybrids, right? Um, this is what, a, like I say, a donkey and a horse have a um, have have a, a mate, uh, you know, mate, and have some kind of progeny. Let's say that for a second that somehow or another humans and chimpanzees could mate, and they would have a progeny. Would that progeny have rights or not? It would depend upon its current or future ability to be able to exercise those rights. So how does one, I mean, I don't open carry a pistol. Can it possess property? Can it, can it uh, maintain property? Can Animals it possess property trade? all the time. Birds make nests. Okay. <laughs> they, See, this is the problem cannot. that I have, Kurt. There's, it's not that I'm not thinking about this. I'm thinking about it a lot. Right. I mean, what if there was just, let's go even more hypothetical. What if there was just a spontaneous mutation in a certain breed of cows where they suddenly developed intelligence? Or maybe 
all those but not cows, language. or maybe all those. No, but I'm saying language too. Like all those cows that have been abducted over the years, you know, because we we're always getting reports from rednecks that cows are being abducted by aliens. So the aliens come back and they return a new species of cow mm. that can that can speak, and suddenly it's like, yo, don't grind me, bro. Don't grind me up. I don't want to be eaten. <laughs> okay, I do like I, that, I'm the new cow. But at that point, you have to understand. At that point, you are not required. To feed that cow, that cow must now go yeah. out and earn its own. Plenty of grass, bro. Plenty, plenty own grass. Space. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? You can do that. That's what I'm saying. This, these are things that people can do. You can go out on your own, make your own, and you know, have property. Animals can't do that. So, Kurt, I, I want to thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. You can come to Keen in uh, another <laughs> week or so. Whenever, when is it? When is it you're coming here? Uh, Wednesday through Sunday. Next week. Okay, very cool. So uh, we'll see you very soon. You can continue conversation at a Social Sundays in Keene. <laughs> Thanks for the call today, man. Appreciate hearing from you. 855 450 free. Frequently, Johnson and uh, Mark and myself are at that very Social Sundays. Uh, so it's one of our weekly uh, social gatherings we do here in the Keene area as part of the Free State Project, bringing liberty-minded people together. We'll tell you more about the Free State Project coming up. You can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Hey, it's Guy Fieri. If there are good times going on and you're not part of them because of heartburn, get back in the game by rolling out the Rolaids. Don't let heartburn keep you from enjoying the things you love. Rolaids gets you back in the action fast. Its dual active formula neutralizes more acid than Tums. For acid indigestion, upset stomach, and heartburn, get rapid relief with Rolaids. R O L A I D S? Now that's how you spell relief. Use as directed. Acid neutralization may not correlate with symptom relief gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. With job numbers near historic lows, Forbes magazine has released a list of tips for finding a job, all of which involve witnessing an employer murder someone. Forbes says despite the grim economy, employers are still hungry for talented workers who know how important it is to forget about whatever they think they saw or heard. So uh, me and a couple of friends were out smoking at the viaduct the other day, and uh, we saw this really rich guy in a Mercedes pull up in his car and drop a uh, nothing. Now I'm the Vice President of International Development. According to Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein, we had a great quarter and hired hundreds of new employees. I haven't done anything wrong and all my employees will tell you the same thing because that's the deal we had. But the article warns that stumbling onto a coke fueled CEO strangling a prostitute isn't a foolproof method for finding work because employers are just as likely to murder you as they are to hire you. This is the Onion News Network. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. 
When I signed up for the Free State Project, I was excited by the prospect of moving somewhere with other people that had liberty as a goal. When I got here to New Hampshire, I was stunned by the great weather and the natural beauty. The Free State Project is helping to move liberty forward. Want to be involved? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. That's freestateproject.org. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You may call in and bring up whatever you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We just heard from Kurt in Michigan, and he is kind of an old hat at coming out to visit us here in New Hampshire. He's uh, usually the guy behind the control board of the audio uh, kind of the sound setup at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. He does a great job and basically volunteers his time as a professional audio technician, Brings hauls out uh, a trailer full of equipment, sets it all up. He's an incredibly dedicated uh, guy. I hope to have him make the move out here as part of the Free State Project sooner rather than later. In fact, hope to have you. If you love the ideas of liberty, join the Free State Project and start planning your move to come up here and be with what will be thousands, what is now over a thousand. We've got over 1,500 people that are here now as part of the Free State Project, but there are still over 15,500 people who have pledged to move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project and get active for liberty. We want to make that number into 20,000. So we still have some recruiting to do. We still have some signups that we need to get. And that could be you. If you haven't yet signed up for the Free State Project and you really understand what freedom means, you don't have to agree with uh, the Liberty community 100%. You just have to agree Does that... Does the Liberty community agree 100%? No. You just have to agree that the maximum role of government should be the protection of life, liberty, and property. And that's it. That's basically what the statement of intent is for the Free State Project, that you agree that that should be the maximum role of government and that you'll move to New Hampshire and get active to achieve that, that vision. So go to freestateproject.org, learn more about the project... We're here now as early movers. We'd love to have you as an early mover as well because the early movers are really getting the ball rolling here. It's going to be amazing once we actually trigger the move at 20,000. When we hit that 20,000 number, there's then a five-year window where the 20,000 signers of the Free State Project will have to move to New Hampshire. And again, there's so much that's possible, so much we've already accomplished with just 1,500 people here. And I would dare say that of those 1,500, some of them are more active than others. Sure. You know, some people are still getting established. They're still kind of working. They maybe brought a family with them. So there's not, you know, you basically do what you can do, whatever's within your purview. You don't have to be a super activist. You can just be an activist. And being an activist can mean all kinds of different things. Maybe if, you know, you don't want to go out in, uh, in public view, you can write letters to the editor. You could uh, ghostwrite letters for other people. Let them sign their name to it if they want. Because, for instance, like a lot of newspapers, they'll only allow you to send one letter per month or there's some sort of limitation on how many you can send in but if you write another letter for somebody else and they like what you've said and they're willing to sign their name to it then that person can get now your work two. published yeah so there's plenty of behind the scenes stuff you know technical know-how is very very useful creating websites working on technical projects so you don't have to be an out in the out in the front out in the street kind of activist if you like politics there's plenty of political action that you can get involved with here and you can actually make a difference so go to freestateproject.org check that out as we continue here with your calls and thoughts corby's on the line in texas you're on Free Talk Live, Corby, with Ian Johnson and Mark. Hey, have you ever heard of Sled Rock from the Flintstones? Yeah, I remember the name. Sled Rock. Schleb, he Schleb the, Rock. He was the cartoon character that it was always raining on only him, like a black cloud above him. Ah. And a friend of mine used to always call me that because I would bet on something. The worst would happen. It'd be raining on my house only or my car only or bad things would happen to only him. But anyway, you know, I bought Bitcoin after watching the price for a month. It was stable in the 600s for, I don't know, I've been watching it for about, you know, two to four weeks. And so I finally buy some. And after I've been 24 hours of me buying it, the price drops by 20%. Uh, that's what so you I'm get for watching the price. 
You, you, I know, you, but you I'm really can't. Responsible. Yeah, you really can't <laughs> obsess over the price of uh, of Bitcoin because you never know what it's going to do. I like Johnny Ray's plan where he spends like ten percent of his income every week or ten percent of his paycheck on Bitcoin, regardless of what the price is. That really helps kind of average out the amount of money that uh, that you spend. And it, it, it makes it so you're less likely to be as aware of what the price of Bitcoin is if you just kind of have a regular buying habit around it. I, I, I like that. I don't pr- particularly uh, adhere to that because I already have some Bitcoin and, uh, and I'm just holding on to them now. But I, I would say, hold on, man. Don't don't just sell the Bitcoin. I don't know if you were, cons- you were you're tempted to sell it to try to cut your losses, but I'd say be patient because odds are good it's going to bounce back. Well, I can't sell because my money's in this pending until it clears my bank, so that's the one good thing, I guess. But one, two quick points. I learned from your show that count uh, counties come from the word count. I didn't know that until about a week ago. On yeah, your show. me either. And, um, and then the last point is your last caller, I guess the guy from Michigan, sounds just like Dr. Wayne Dyer on audio. I don't know if you've ever heard of that guy, but he, huh. he sounds just like on audio, but listen to a lot of Wayne Dyer, and that guy from Michigan sounds like Kurt or whatever, sounds just like him. That's, hmm. my, that's what I'm done. But anyway. Hey, Corby, thank Next time for... I listen to Wayne Dyer, I'm going to think uh, think of Kurt just to see if it sounds the same to me. Thanks for sharing your thoughts tonight, Corby. I appreciate hearing from you. And let's go to Amanda. She's calling from Maine. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Amanda. Hey, how are you? Um, I'm just I'm just um, coming calling in a little bit about the um, the animal rights stuff. Um, yes. I feel that animals do have rights. Um, like at all these um, places that slaughter all these animals and um, they're all getting injured and hurt. And I feel that animals do have rights. They do have rights because they should be le- living without um, pain and suffering. I am a vegan and. I feel that animals have the right to be able to live in peace without harm, and animals should not be abused. So let me ask you this: I, th- I think that this is this is interesting, but uh, for a, for a philosophy to be um, uh, to, to, for it to be moral, it has to be universal. If we, for instance, everybody stopped eating meat tomorrow, what would happen? I mean, you'd have all these big feral pigs running around, tearing everything up. Uh, they'd be a mess. Um, dairy cows, udders would be splitting wide open because nobody's there to milk them. Um, you know, I mean, who's going to eat the chickens, eggs? Uh, the, you know, you're going to have uh, varmints are going to be running wild eating these uh, ch- chicken eggs. I mean, it's going to create a really weird world, isn't it? Not really, because they have um, sanctuaries. They have sanctuaries that they can live on, for, and um, they'll be fine for living on sanctuaries. <laughs> but what do we call those sanctuaries? Farms? Yes, they're sanctuary farms. So, um, in sanctuary farms, uh, do people eat the chicken eggs, and do they milk the dairy cows? No, they cows? do not. No, they do not. What do they do with the they, eggs? Um, what happens is that the eggs are end up hatching. They end up raising new, new chickens and everything, and... Um, all these factory farms um, that are killing the meats and everything, there's a bunch of male chickens that end up dying because they throw them out alive. And I feel that they should be able to live in freedom and without pain and suffering. Have you ever lived with a rooster? No, not at really. At about but, 6 a.m., um, I feel nothing but pain and suffering is what I want to give a rooster. Um, I would not mind listening to a rooster in the morning because I'll it's t- a perfect alarm clock. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, the, the rooster gets up a lot earlier than you do. Um, in, in, anyway, that's, that's that's not my point. So, I mean, you can leave eggs to rot, and that's one thing. Um, it's another thing entirely to let a dairy cow's udder split wide open in front of you because somebody doesn't milk the thing. I mean, those animals are going to be really, uh, really a lot in a lot of pain. They're going to get, uh, you know, they're going to get bound up. What are you going to do about that? Well, not I, really, because because wanna, all the milk is. Amanda, oh, hang sorry. on. I want to give you a chance to answer Mark's question here. So we're going to bring you back if you don't mind. Stand by eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Amanda doesn't think that uh, animals should be slaughtered. It sounds like, but can we humanely kill them? Is that possible? Free talk live. 
self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests, David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers, plus GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink, providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. This is novelist Tom Robbins. When my mother was diagnosed with glaucoma, her conservative Virginia physician told her there was only one treatment that might ease her pain and save her eyesight. That treatment was medical marijuana, which he could not prescribe. I offered to get her some and teach her how to use it effectively, but my father objected because marijuana was against the law. So my mother, who loved to read and walk in nature, was condemned to grow cruelly, unnecessarily blind. Tragedies like this happen all the time, but they don't have to keep happening. To learn more about medical marijuana, call the Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or visit them on the web at mpp.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, inviting you to take control of the airwaves here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Still to come, uh, the article that we barely scratched the surface on so far. Johnson has 11 uh, allegedly hypocritical things that uh, need to be called out about libertarians. We'll get to that here if we get a chance. But your calls and thoughts come first. We've been talking about animal rights, this idea uh, about animal rights, Mark, you say that animals do have rights. Indeed. I say that they don't. And Johnson, you are on the they don't have rights side. Uh, right? I'm on the I would love for them to have rights, but they don't. 
So we would like to get more of your thoughts. And of course, if you value your online privacy, you need to know about ProXPN. It is a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data before it gets to your internet service provider. Now, your ISP is probably keeping records of every website you visit at every search term that you enter. Some cases for as long as five years. You can stop that right now by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. Grab their app. There's one for Windows, another for Mac. If you're an iOS user or an Android user, you can get sm mobile smartphone versions of ProXPN. Plus, if you're a Linux user, setup's a little different for you. You need to email ProXPN. They'll send you back the instructions uh, that you need to get ProXPN working. But ProXPN's a great product because it helps uh, protect your privacy online in more than one way. Not only does it encrypt your data, uh, which means that the ISP doesn't know what you're doing anymore. But also, they'll protect your location. When you've got their premium account, you can select different ProXPN servers around the world. So if you want to make it look like you're in the Netherlands, for instance, you can just select their Netherlands server, or Singapore, or Prague, or London. Uh, if you're going to be doing torrenting, by the way, with ProXPN, and you can do private torrenting with their premium package plan, uh, you'll want to connect to their Netherlands server because that's where the best privacy protections are. So you can protect your privacy. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You can learn more there. And when you're ready to sign up for their premium package for unlimited bandwidth, for the ability to select your preferred server, for the ability to privately torrent, you can use our code FTL20. That gets you 20% off the price of the premium account. And that's for the lifetime of you having the account. That's a great discount. FTL20. That gets you the 20% off. It brings the price down to 5 bucks a month when you order their annual plan at proxpn.com slash FTL. You can go there and get started right now for free. proxpn.com slash FTL. It's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, by the way, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online browsing habits. So again, use code FTL20 at proxpn.com slash FTL. Let's go back to Amanda in Maine. Amanda, you are taking Mark's position and going even further with it. Uh, Mark says animals Absolutely. have rights. You agree with that. But Mark has pigs. Not at the moment, but he has had pigs and probably will again this year. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, they're they're a cyclical thing. You've had pigs, and you have slaughtered those pigs, Mark, and as, as what you believe as humane a way as possible. I don't know if you should use the term slaughtering if it's humane, but you've killed the pigs in, a, in what you believe to be a more humane fashion than, say, some of the factory farms. But, Amanda, do you disagree with even the, the owning of or the, the killing, the, the, the as humane as possible kind of killing of animals? I don't disagree with owning the animals. Um, but I, I um, disagree with killing the animals and harming them because um, they have a right to be able to live. How they can you right believe uh, that someone can own an animal if the animal has rights? Wouldn't that make the animal their prisoner? You have a point there, but um, I mean, think about what about a dog and a cat? We we own dogs and cats as pets. A sure. pig can be a pet. And there are lots of uh, there are lots of animal rights activists who believe that that shouldn't be happening that that is that is slavery. I mean, a, a, a pig is as smart as a dog. They that's the, the that's the god's population. honest truth, and uh, you know, so the philosophy on my farm is a really great life and in, in one bad moment. I mean, we're all going to die. And at this point, you know, we live on a planet where people eat the flesh of animals, and I have decided that, you know, the commitment that I've made is is that I don't want to eat animals that have been tortured in factory farms, so I'm going to make an effort to get my animals from farms where I can see how they're raised and see what things are like, including my pigs where they're, you know, right outside of my house. I can't, I don't have the time and energy to do pigs and cows and, um, you know, milk cows and, and chickens and the whole deal, but a friend does chickens and another friend does cows and, and we just kind of work it out that way. So, you know, there, there's a step in between here, but I think some of the difficulty is, is um, if I just, you know, I, I, if I didn't keep my chickens in a pen and put them in at night, I had chickens in the past, um, raccoons and foxes would come along and eat them. So I have no responsibility to take care of a chicken if I'm not going to get eggs and, and meat off of it. So why would I? I mean, I, I'm I'm not pushing my views onto people, but everybody has the right to freedom of their own views and everything. Sure. But um. Well, but, no one accused you of pushing your views. This is talk I, radio. I 
and you get to I, share I, I your views. I absolutely agree because everybody has a right to put their views on the table and debate about things, which is awesome. And I mean, I don't, but with all these factory farms, I don't agree with them being tortured and. Um, but yeah, you don't agree like, with farms at all. I mean, it doesn't sound like you agree with any killing of any animal. And uh, obviously, you're not. Oh, willing I'd to do force it if your... I could. I can't live the. I can't live this way. You're not willing to force your viewpoint on on others, Amanda. And I appreciate that. If you can persuade people to come on board with your viewpoint, that's cool. Of course, it's very unlikely that's ever going to happen in any kind of meaningful, popular way. Because well, I people think you'll like probably to eat see meat. lab. I'll see, you, you'll probably see some some kind of lab grown meat, which is going to sidestep all of the. Yeah, but you know, they're still going to. Even if it's tasty, Mark, they're still going to be the like the people that believe well, uh, that it's better to grow an animal animal and, and kill it it's well, more natural well, a, lot, a lot of the stuff that we a lot of the meat that we get in the stores that for vegans is based out of tofu a mm -hmm. lot of it's made out of tofu you don't call um, that meat by the way <laughs> i no, think it's really it is it's, not, it, it, it's 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 called meat but it's, it's not really curd. meat but it's it's made out of vegetables and yeah. all kinds of stuff I, I when i get my protein i get some beans and there's a whole mess of the stuff out there with protein. Amanda, I want to thank you for the call and thoughts tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you with your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Lauren is in Utah listening to KZNU. Hey, Lauren. Hi. Hey. Hey, up? I'm just, just responding to Amanda here. Uh, unlike Amanda, I'm not a vegan, but I am a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. so, and Amanda's so what, what, kind, what are we talking is, about here? Eggs? Milk? I do eat eggs and I do eat cheese, um, but uh, I don't eat meat. What about okay. fish? Uh, rarely. Okay. And that's the one exception I make. Okay. Well, what, uh, just out of curiosity, what? Why is it? Um, and, and I'm not. I'm not badgering you. I just kind of want to know why is it that you think it's okay morally to eat a fish as opposed to eating? And I assume you're a moral vegetarian as opposed to just sort of a dietary one. Um, actually, actually not. I'm a dietary vegetarian. Okay, never mind. For assuming, the, the question doesn't matter. Then never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's not a moral issue for me. Okay, great. Okay. Um, now, Amanda, her issue for me is that she lives in a theoretical world rather than a real one. I used to do business in Rajasthan, India, which is northwest India, and I've traveled there several times. And boy, I'll tell you that, and I'm, this is not a criticism of Hinduism at all, but if, if you want to see what yeah, the world would be like where we don't kill any animals and they, they run free, you need to go to India. Um, I've never been, I've traveled the entire world. I've lived in Africa, I've lived in China, I've lived all over. I've never been any place dirtier than India. And the principal reason for that is animal feces everywhere. Really? I remember the first, the first time I went to the Taj Mahal, it was uh, in June, summer, uh, absolutely the wrong time to go, but... You walk down this, this alleyway to get to it, and, of course, there are animal feces everywhere, and the wow. flies were so bad that I had to consciously keep my mouth closed while breathing <laughs> in order to not <laughs> inhale flies. Well, that's it delightful. Just, it, oh, man. It, it's horrible. I saw pigs walking around the street with their what looked like their uterus hanging out their back end and with oh, cancer growth oh, on Oh, hang them. on. I want you to be able to tell more of your story if you'd like to share it with us. Hang on, Lauren. We'll bring it back. I want to apologize to everybody who might be eating. <laughs> 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. You can take control here at Free Talk Live. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. 
Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want right here. Toll free number 855 450 free. We've got Skype as well. You may Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Johnson. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us online, and there's all kinds of great features on our website. Uh, You can grab archives that go back to late 2006. They are all completely free. You just go, click, and download, and they're yours over at freetalklive.com. And now with video. Now, you won't find the video files at freetalklive.com. You need to go to our YouTube channel for that. You go to youtube.freetalklive.com. That's where we've been uploading uh, every night for about the last few weeks, last month maybe, uh, every episode of Free Talk Live, now in full episode form. So a full three-hour-long file goes up every single night. So if you want to if you've missed the show and you want to see what happened in the studio, usually it's us talking in a microphone, so it shouldn't be a real shocking uh, video content, but for those of you that like to watch the show when it's live, if you miss it live, you can now see it in playback form on YouTube. Uh, every night's show is uploaded, so go and grab them, download them, watch them, share them, whatever you want to do. Go to youtube.freetalklive.com, and of course our audio archives are always available at freetalklive.com. You just click and download as many of those as you would like. 
855 free. That's the toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN. We've got Lauren on the line in Utah listening to KZNU. Lauren, you were telling us about uh, this idea of that our earlier caller had, that all animals have rights and they should just be allowed to, to be free. She did say that uh, some, some animals she'd be okay with, with people owning. Or maybe just in general, she was okay with people owning animals. But the other proposal from certain animal rights activists is that the animals shouldn't even be owned, that they should just be free to roam. And you said yeah. you had an experience with that in India that was pretty uh, disgusting. Yeah, you know, one of the issues over in India, we're not talking squirrels and chipmunks, we're talking large animals, camels, donkeys, um, pigs, cows all roaming around, and if you haven't seen it, you need to go and, and actually witness this. And uh, the problem is it's a health problem because mm -hmm. of the feces that are just everywhere. One time, uh, my wife and I were being driven in a city called Jodhpur, and this cow, and of course everybody stops for the animals when they when they walk across the street, but this, this cow that just looked deathly ill, you could see its ribs, Ugh. It was just horrible. As it crossed the street, it lifted its tail, and out came just diarrhea. It wasn't even solid, and of course, it sprayed all over the, the road. The problem is then all of that gets driven over, gets put up in the, in the air, people breathe it, and then they get sick. And it, and it truly is a health problem. Because nobody owns these animals, nobody takes care of them. And wow. that's where the problem comes in. Well, you know, and another thing that uh, that the, the, another reason that this philosophy is not tenable is is that um, animals have predators, but humans are si going to be simply unwilling to live in harmony, supposedly, with say mountain lions, tigers, and things like this. Don't forget, there's not just farms that would go feral at this point; zoos would too. So, um, you know, I mean, are, are we going to are, are we sending all the, the, the tigers back to India? I'm sure they're going to be delighted to have them. Should you also allow the tiger or the bear that is loose to maul you? Well, I mean, right. That's, that's a great question. I mean, you know, do I have to carry around a little 38? Because I can assure you I, I, I don't have the same experience with knowing when a human's going to attack or when a, an animal's going to attack me is with a human's going to attack me. I find myself to be threatened if I'm anywhere near a predatory animal like i just i immediately feel threatened when i'm in the water um uh, you know put I, I won't put my hand in and touch a manatee i feel threatened by large animals so i mean that's just the that's the end of the story for me exactly how are we going to deal with that because i'm pretty sure the people in india um they kill they kill tigers well, and think of your children outside playing and some large animal comes along. What are you going to do? I, I guess you just have more children. <laughs> <laughs> so you can replace Survival them. of the fittest. If they can't I, outrun I have them. no idea. This is such a completely untenable position to me, the, the, the sort of vegan uh, position. I, my only uh, – the, the best I've been able to come up with is, look, I eat animals and – the animals I eat have lived a good, healthy life. They've eaten good food. They've been able to be out in the sun. They've scratched around in the dirt, and uh, you know, at the at the at that very last moment, they're treated as best they possibly can. The pigs get a quick bullet in the head while they're eating some food. They never knew what happened to them. The chickens are held upside down and stroked, and then their their throats slit. Um, you know, that's what we do. Well, guys, you know, my only suggestion here is anybody like Amanda who espouses that type of philosophy, buy a round-trip ticket to India, spend a week there, come back, and then see if you still feel the same way. Thanks for your call tonight, Lauren. I appreciate your personal experience, and thanks for making the uh, the phone call to 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. One other uh, point about animals and rights, the idea that animals have rights, which, Mark, you say that they do. I think they do. Um, I think that animals should be respected as beings with consciousness, and we should treat them humanely as, as possible. I think, it, it, but, what is consciousness? I don't know what that means either. Well, that's another question Some people entirely. would claim that if you don't know what you are in a mirror, like, like sometimes the dog will bark at 
itself in the mirror mm-hmm. because it doesn't know what... Sometimes dogs will recognize themselves. Sometimes they will. And dolphins definitely recognize themselves in mirrors. But that doesn't mean that animals that don't don't have consciousness. They just have a different level of consciousness. But consciousness is a whole other uh, discussion. The point I wanted to make was, again, going back to the idea of rights, rights should be reciprocal. Uh, rights are an agreement between people. Rights don't actually exist. It's just an idea that people have come up with to make interacting with one another more uh, successful over time uh, to allow humans to respect one another in, in certain ways. See, I disagree with you. I think rights do exist. Well, that's a fantasy on your part. Well, but, do you think uh, the property ownership exists? Rights exist as much as government exists, which is to say they don't exist, but people Does believe in those Does property ownership things. exist? Again, a good idea. Uh, property is another idea that man has yes, put on it's top an of idea. something. Yes. Ideas exist. We, we, Only we as operate. ideas. We, yes, And you indeed. have to have the same ideas in order for them to be respected mutually. So the reason, one of the reasons why animals don't have rights is because they won't respect your rights. So an animal, Are we talking instance, about all animals as though they're the same? What a ridiculous co- well, collective crap animal, that is. Not, no cow is going to bite your head off, dude. Right. Not every animal is going to kill you, but the cow very well is not going to care about your property rights. It's going to walk right onto your land. Sure, so, plenty of people have been killed by cows. Stampede uh, or something like that. Kicked sure. to the head in some cases. So, again, they don't understand Usually the Usually when they're molesting rights. their ninnies, I think that once uh, somebody starts pulling on my ninnies, and I have the, op- I have the ability to uh, get them away from me. Anyway, my point being that the animals do not re- uh, reciprocate, and so therefore they don't have rights. Let's go to old Jeremy is in Alaska. But again, that doesn't mean they shouldn't be respected. They shouldn't be treated well. Lots of people don't reciprocate rights. That doesn't mean they don't have rights, right? Well, again, now we're getting into a different area. Jeremy, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Ian. If, you, if a communist like you steps on my property, I will stick my dog on you, man. Because... You know what I mean? You like step all over the place, man, because my dog does have a right, and uh, I have a right to stick him on your ass if you get out of control. What time is it there, uh, <laughs> Jeremy? <laughs> and uh, I will stick my pet on you, and my dog has a right. Because I will pull my gun out and blow your head <laughs> off if you get out of control. So my animals. Speaking do of being out right. of control, it is four four fifty five yeah. in the afternoon in Alaska. At, at least four fifty five. Yeah. Yeah, it's four fifty five. Is there more than one hey. time zone in Alaska? I think there might be. I think it's Alaskan daylight time. Yeah. Right now. What time is it right now, Jeremy? Uh, it's a. Uh, 4.56 p.m. There you go. Sir. Yep. Is the sun still up right now? Yes. Man, it's bright as hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. It's 5 <laughs> o'clock somewhere, though. Bahamity. Hey, my chickens have a right. My chickens have a right. My dog has a right. And uh, I'm not sure about you, Ian. I don't like you too much, but Mark, I love the hell out of that guy. uh, Thanks, Jeremy. There you go, Jeremy. I don't think anyone could have said it better. Uh, I really appreciate the call tonight. (laughs) Thank you for really wrapping up that discussion. Uh, the toll-free number, it's, it's not wrapped up. If you want to call about animal rights, in fact, there, oh, you didn't have to hang up. There was a guy on the on hold who uh, wanted to talk about animal rights. I didn't mean to make it sound like we wouldn't talk about that in Hour 3. We certainly will. If you want to talk about it, you're welcome to bring up whatever you want. Uh, I'm certain we have not brought up all of the points about animal rights in this last hour. You may take control of the airwaves here at 855-450-FREE. That is the toll-free number. Absent your calls. We will go on with the 11 alleged things that are hypocritical about libertarians. We'll find out here in Hour 3 coming up. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand-scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three-quarter inch pre-finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22-month special financing is available. So go to LumberLiquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. Quantum Vibe It's year 2523 There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed With 
brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system on a secret mission to find the key to access new frontiers and save liberty. QuantumVibe.com from Big Head Press. Aren't you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Well, stop using their money. There's an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. And by using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, March 27th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.67 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,295 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $557. Business Insider reports, New York League of Conservation Voters President Marsha Bystrand sent an email to supporters Tuesday accusing lawmakers in the state assembly of trying to sneak through a bill that would kill the electric car by effectively shutting down Tesla. The email by Bystrand said, Imagine if the state legislature tried to ban the sale of iPods and other Apple products from Apple stores. Ridiculous, right? Well, in Albany, where anything is possible, a handful of politicians trying to curry favor with the powerful auto dealers lobby are advancing a bill that would ban direct sales of automobiles by manufacturers in New York. Adding insult to injury, while most lawmakers are working feverishly this week to get an on-time budget passed by the March 31st deadline, these cronies of car dealerships are trying to sneak this bill past clean energy advocates. The bill would ban automakers from selling cars directly to consumers without using franchise dealers. Lawmakers could potentially put a direct sale ban in the annual budget, which is due to be approved by the legislature on April 1st. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. Business Week reports, there's no easy way to put a price tag on the hunt for Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, which has become an international obsession with a multinational cast of searchers in the days since its March 8th disappearance. China, home to most of the 239 missing people, has joined Malaysia, Indonesia, and Australia in carrying the heaviest burden in terms of equipment and cost. The United States has budgeted $4 million to aid the hunt for the missing Malaysian Airlines jet, a small fraction of the untold millions spent so far on the almost three-week effort involving equipment and personnel from more than two dozen countries. A full public accounting will likely wait until a definitive outcome, since no one involved wants to appear callous or insensitive. The clearest comparison in terms of expense might come from the two-year search for debris, victims, and flight data recorders from the 2009 crash of an Air France flight in the Atlantic Ocean, which cost more than $40 million. The number of nations involved in the current search far exceeds the hunt for Air France Flight 447. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. FANS are friends, allies, and numeracy supporters. FANS help FPP afford to produce more original content. You can join the FANS program for as little as $3 per month or any amount of Bitcoin per month thanks to the recurring payment options provided by Coinbase. To learn more or to join the FANS program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot F-P-P radio dot com. 
According to a recent study, peeing in a swimming pool is not only gross, it may also be harmful to your health. A study published in the ACS Journal of Environmental Science and Technology found that when mixed, urine and chlorine can form substances that can cause potential health problems. Chlorine is usually added to pool water to kill disease-causing microbes and prevent swimmers from getting sick. Researchers said in a statement, as people swim, splash, play, and pee in the pool, chlorine mixes with sweat and urine and makes other substances. Two of those compounds, including trichloramine and cyanogen chloride, are ubiquitous in swimming pools. Trichloramine is associated with lung problems, and the cyanogen chloride can also affect the lungs as well as the heart and central nervous system. Scientists have not yet identified all of the specific ingredients in sweat and urine that could cause potentially harmful compounds to form, so researchers looked at how chlorine interacts with uric acid, a component of sweat and urine. In their recent study, they mixed uric acid and chlorine, and within an hour, both trichloramine and cyanogen chloride formed. According to a previous study by USA Today, both chemicals have been linked to health problems experienced by swimmers, lifeguards, and pool staff. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Following this afternoon's arrest of Congress on the charge of over 23 million counts of manslaughter, our reporter spoke to Mark Westnick from Savannah, Georgia, just one of the many Americans that has lost a loved one due to the legislative branch's criminal negligence. Because of Congress, my 23-year-old son died two years ago in Afghanistan. My nephew, he lost his leg in Iraq in 2006, and my brother died in Vietnam in 1969. Congress killed my family. Defense attorneys for the now incarcerated 538 member group have dismissed the claims made by Westnick and other victims and released a statement saying their client has been, quote, a pillar of the national community for over 200 years and completely innocent of any and all wrongdoing. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and as long as you are sober enough to dial a phone, we will take your call. 850. That's actually, a low threshold. Actually, you could just have someone else who's more sober dial the phone and then hand it to you. We'll still take your call. 855-450-FREE. That is the toll-free number. 855-450-3733. With you in the studio tonight, Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. And uh, Johnson has prepared for us the 11 uh, hypocritical things allegedly that are allegedly hypocritical about libertarians from salon.com we haven't even gotten to the first one so hopefully we'll have a chance to do that here in a few moments but we'll take your calls first about whatever's on your mind there's been a lot of discussion about animals and the idea of animal rights and several different kind of facets of that uh i don't want to recap it all because it was the bulk of uh well kind of the bulk of the show so far here uh we'll talk to you about though whatever happens to be on your mind as we go to the phones and the fun first up this hour it is aaron listening in kansas Aaron, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnson and Mark. How are you guys doing tonight? Welcome, Aaron. What's on your mind? Uh, I was uh, sorry to interrupt your uh, uh, hypocritical libertarian discussion, but uh, I had, uh, was wondering if you guys had uh, heard about the IRS ruling on uh, how they're going to approach Bitcoin. Why, yes. As yes, a we have. Property and they're going to view it as a property instead of a currency, whereas like FinCEN still calling it a currency in the house. How you guys think that'll affect the uh, mainstream uh, adopting it? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know how it's going to affect the mainstream, but I find it a very interesting position where one government agency calls Bitcoin a uh, currency, and another government agency calls it a property. Um, I mean, I I don't I, I don't really understand uh, what the you know how they're going about doing that. I think that. The IRS has taken the most reasonable position, but is that going to pressure FinCEN? I don't know if it will. Can you recap briefly, what, uh, Mark, because you weren't here when we first talked about this earlier this week. Uh, can you recap for our listeners maybe what the decision was by the IRS? Do you recall? 
Are you talking to me? Yes. Okay, great. Um, the decision by the IRS is essentially that uh, Bitcoin's a property, so when you, uh, like a commodity, when you buy gold, you have an ounce of gold. You don't have a certain amount of money, you have an ounce of gold. Mm-hmm. But you could have bought gold at $1,400 and sold it at $1,700. And say you did this with a large enough amount that you actually made some money. Um, then you would, if you made some money on the appreciation of a property, then that's a capital gain, and it would be taxed at a, the capital gains rate of like fifteen percent or whatever. So I, you know, my response to this is I just don't care. Uh, you know, I don't really care what they say. Bitcoin is an amazing currency that is worldwide. It's it's accepted by all kinds of interesting people for all kinds of interesting things. It's decentralized. It can't be controlled by the state. This is another desperate attempt on the part of the state to attempt to control Bitcoin by telling the Bitcoin users, aha, well, now you've got to fill out all this paperwork, see? And you've got to let us know about all your transactions over this amount of money and this and that. And, you know, it seems ridiculous to me that people will pay any attention and take these people seriously. But, Johnson, what do you think about the IRS um, on Bitcoin? My question is what it's going to do to the retailers. The people who are, who are accepting Bitcoin, are they going to be somehow, is there some sort of reporting requirements? That's that's what I'm well, The IRS about. is claiming that there's going to be reporting requirements involved in this. Reporting requirements when you sell, Ian. So if you accept Bitcoin at, um, to, you know. The they I- also claim that if you're doing like more than $600 worth of business with Bitcoin, you have to report that. Well, actually, with trade, you have to uh, you have to report that too. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I I worked for a radio station. We accepted trade from a local barter uh, exchange, and there had to be there there were taxes done on that too. So, I guess that would be too. Look, I'm we're just going to say right right now. Here here's my thing. I'm just going to say right now. Uh, I don't understand any of this regulation, so I just don't understand it. Yep. So, if the government's out there listening to this particular show, I don't really understand what your requirements are. So, I don't um, understand. I haven't only- really heard about them. I'm I'm kind of hearing about them now, right. but I, I just not, don't understand what I you're agree. saying. I agree. Not so. only do I not understand their regulations, yep. I couldn't possibly understand them because I'm not trained in legalese. And beyond that, I also don't understand how it is they think I'm obligated to follow their regulations right. that I don't understand. Uh, but Aaron, uh, certainly it is a legitimate concern to wonder, you know, what's this going to do? Right now, Bitcoin has fallen off a cliff as far as its price is concerned. It's now below $500. I think we started the show this evening above $500. It's been dropping. It started percent. a week. It's above six precipitously uh yeah. today maybe that has to do with the irs ruling maybe not you never know what the bitcoin market is responding to uh when it's doing things like this what do you think aaron this means it's time to buy more bitcoin there you Don't go <laughs> thanks for the call tonight i appreciate <laughs> hearing from you. you it certainly seems like an opportune time to buy the toll-free number is 855 450 free Let's go to Dan in Minnesota. Dan, you're on Free Talk Live. Of course, the thing is, you never know where it's going to hit its bottom and start going back up. Uh, Dan, you're on the air. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Boston's attacking. Can you hear me okay, I hope? Yes. Go ahead. Hi. I live up in northern Minnesota up here, and um, I live on a lake, and I pay a bunch in taxes and work hard every day. And I, like, shoot ducks and geese out of my hot tub with my girlfriend and I hope you, you wear ear protection. Up, You're shooting in the hot tub? Yeah. The That's... wood fired hot tub. I hope you I hope you use gear protection. Haven't. Oh god. Oh my gosh. No wonder you can't hear us. All right. Anyways, and then I fish in my lake and I eat the fish. Excellent, sir. So and what else did you want to share? Fish all the time. What's that? What, what were your thoughts on the idea of uh, animal rights? Is that what you were calling about? Well, I have mixed emotions. I've got it. And I mean, certain things I think can be taken and certain things shouldn't. But I I live on the country and I take what I can, you know, deer up here and we take those and ducks and geese and everything that we can get up here. And then I, it feeds my family. So... Very good. Dan, thanks for sharing that. Uh, any other thoughts you want to get out there tonight? Um, no. Very good. Enjoy your evening. Sound, uh, sounds like he's enjoying his evening, too. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Yeah. A little sedated. Yeah, well, this is this is how um, this is the difficulty of uh, this whole conversation of when you know do animals have rights or not, and then how do we go about respecting the rights? 
I don't really know the answers to those. It just seems to me that, um, you know, humans are animals and we're all just, it's just a continuum of great apes. And if you say that you can't eat humans, then, well, which of the great, which of the other great apes can't you eat? It's funny. I think I actually picked up, you know, from Dan's very, it was Dan, right? The sedate, his very mm-hmm. sedate call where he's, you know, laying back in his hot tub blasting <laughs> keys and ducks from, from the, you know, from the, from the hot tub. But, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 he sounded like he was conflicted because it sounds like, you know, maybe somebody who's living out in the country, you know, maybe he's got a dog that goes and fetches the geese and brings them back to his hot tub for him. And, uh, you know, he, w- he, he wouldn't want to see somebody treating the dog bad- badly. But I think Dan makes the, the best point, which is if you're going to call into talk radio, sometimes you want to have notes when you when you call in so that you can be a little bit more eloquent eloquent and kind of stay on nonetheless on i topic. do appreciate the the call and uh, of course you can bring up whatever you want even if you just want to tell us about your hunting habits and i have to say <laughs> i've never heard of anybody shooting anything from inside a hot tub it seems like an unusual combination of, of hobbies well i mean i i it, yeah. it's it's a f- I, if if you see something and you're in the hot tub and the guns and the nearby. Guns right there, yeah. Okay. I, I'm just. <laughs> look, I, just had, I just had a thought. <laughs> Imagine this. I'm imagining this as a tree stand for somebody. Because a lot of the times, these deer hunters, especially during hunting season, they're out in the frigid cold at like mm. four in the morning, five yeah. in the morning, God. and they're out there. Now, imagine somebody, one of these guys, gets the brilliant idea of setting up a hot tub in a tree. In a tree. <laughs> so you just elevate. You Somehow you have to build a hot tub and get the water like 20 feet up yeah, in the air, 30 feet up in the air. Yeah, have a lot of support. That's a, those things are heavy. I mean, even without water in them, hot well, how about the, are heavy. But it's wood fired. How would you do that? Yeah. You just set the tree on fire underneath. <laughs> yeah, that's tricky. Shooting deer from the their hot tub tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take control of the airwaves here at 855 450 free. All right, so we still have the 11 allegedly hypocritical things we'll get about like maybe libertarians. <laughs> We're going to get into that here in moments. You may also call in about whatever's on your mind. It doesn't have to be hot tubs. It doesn't have to be deer shooting, hunting, animal rights. You can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Also, you may Skype us. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. We continue with more Free Talk Live in moments. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me like, do this right now. 
I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, bring up anything here. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Also, join us via Skype. Our Skype username is LRN.FM. And uh, let's see, we have all kinds of great features on our website, by the way. We've got a webcam. You can watch, listen, and interact with other Free Talk Live listeners. Go to cam.freetalklive.com, and you can do that all for free. That's cam.freetalklive.com. And by the way, uh, the cam is now working halfway on mobile devices. Oh, mobile devices. So if you've been trying to watch, there have been people who have sent in some uh, complaints over the last, I don't know, year (laughs) about our (laughs) the inability for uh, the cam to work on mobile devices. Free Talk Live's lightning fast customer service. (laughs) And uh, and apparently, well, I had to buy a $180 license to uh, stream with AAC content in order to make the stream work. So if you now go to cam.freetalklive.com on your mobile browser, you should be able to watch and listen to the show on your mobile device. However, if you're trying to use the live stream app, it does not work through the app. You have to go through your browser. I'm still trying to work. I'm, I'm in the midst of uh, talking with live streams, tech support, trying to figure out why the hell it's not working through their app, but you can go through the browser and, and watch it. Right. So if you go to cam.freetalklive.com, you should be able to watch and listen via your uh, phone. And of course, you can always listen to our streams via TuneIn or any of your favorite MP3-based players on your smartphone as well. You can access those by going to m like mobile.freetalklive.com. And once the uh, once the streams are more confirmed, I'll go ahead and add a stream link to the mobile site as well for those of you to watch uh, who want to watch the show via the cam. You'll be able to do that. Also, blockchain.info. Bitcoin is at an amazingly low price right now. It's in the $400 range, the high 400s at the moment. And maybe it'll keep dropping. Maybe it won't. Either way, if you're ready to make a purchase of Bitcoin... Is this the beginning of the end for Bitcoin? It could be. It could drop to zero. There is that possibility. It's very remote, but it's possible, I suppose. Uh, Some... Suppose it, I, I assume he's a big wig. Otherwise, CNN wouldn't have uh, reported on this. But some, uh, I think his name. Uh, I'll look his name up. I put it up on the the web page. Um, has said that he is buying Bitcoin now. Um, yeah. You know, since the Mount Gox uh, debacle, he said that if it was holding, if it was holding up after the the crash of Mount Gox, that it was uh, worth investing in. Was was his opinion? So as this noted investor, Bill Miller. 
Blockchain.info is where you can go to get the best online wallet. There's a great Android app as well that makes it easy to interface with. If you don't have an Android phone, you can still use their online wallet through their website at blockchain.info. They've got encryption that makes it so your wallet cannot be accessed by blockchain. They can't uh, get in to find out how much money you have. Uh, they they just uh, they can't access your money. Uh, go and get your Bitcoin wallet. It's protected from the FBI and the NSA. You uh, can go to blockchain.info. And they've got all kinds of neat tools there, by the way, to research uh, the blockchain. The blockchain is this thing that is this ledger that uh, is kind of the backbone of the Bitcoin network. They've got all kinds of neat stuff over at blockchain.info. But the most important thing they offer is that free Bitcoin wallet. You can go and get yours right now. And uh, again, blockchain.info. So let's go to the phones and the fun, and still to come, the libertarian hypocrisies, as outlined by Salon.com. But let's go first to Ron in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnson and Mark. Hey, Ron. Hey, good evening. Uh, I've, I've got a call for, I, I guess, uh, maybe some advice and maybe some information. But, but first, I want to say that our hot tub friend, I don't actually think he called in for that purpose. I think he was just wanting to brag a little bit. It there certainly sounded like it. No problem with that. But, uh... But, but my question is, uh, the, the census that they have going around that my uh, friend has received on her, she, she received one in her mailbox saying that she needed to call a number and answer a census. And since then, every about three or four days that she gets a FedEx uh, hung on her gate, and she, the gate's far enough from the house that you can't just walk up to the house without getting hurt. But uh, she... Um, <laughs> She, uh, She's got landmines, yeah, <laughs> alligators. Well, well, worse than that. <laughs> but she's uh, she's kind of concerned about it because uh, she's done some research, and she said they ask a lot of really just incredibly intrusive questions, mm. like what time do you leave for work? Is this the uh, um, many, what they call many... the American Community Survey right. or something like that? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. it. Because for, and, for and, uh, listeners that don't know, obviously the census is something that happens every 10 years. So people may be wondering, well, wait a minute, it's uh, you know 2014. Why is this woman being given a census? This is the thing right. they do in the other you know other times of uh, the decade. This is the American Community Survey, I believe is what it's called. And, by, by the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Look, I don't, I can't give legal advice, but what I would uh, suggest uh, is that she ignore these things and uh, forget about these been people. Doing. That's what she's been doing. She's just been ignoring them. They they sent a, a deal out saying it's like a hundred dollar fine if you don't fill it out or not fill it out, but you get with the census taker. And if you lie on it, it's a five hundred dollar fine. So it's like if you have your druthers, just don't fill it out. Yeah, but, and uh, I wouldn't pay the tell fine her, either. Tell her if she fills it out, I'm going to send her a fine. I mean, who are these people, and what is this fine they're 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 handing out? The American Chamber well, of Commerce yeah. is this a lawmaking body? Uh, um, American it, Community Service. Well, well, I mean, you know, where do I go to court for this fine? Oh, I'd like to dispute this fine. Um, you know, who do yeah. I go? What judge? You do can't. I go you just front? have to pay it. Right. Well, this is what the but TSA she, does too. Discussed. But wait, yeah, she's did, already discussed. She said she would go to jail before she before good for she her. does anything. And that's really the question: is what the hell are they going to do if she doesn't pay the fine? The, oh, are they going to prosecute that, her that over not paying been. the fine? Yeah. They, they don't give that information. It's just that there is a fine. And, They're going to back down. It, we've had people know. calling about – we've had people call about this in the past. I think it was uh, – oh, gosh. Uh, Bile, I think, yeah. was uh, Bile, one of our callers, a blogger online. He had been pushed this American community survey in the past, and I believe he successfully ignored it. Yeah, so just, just kept okay. ignoring it. It's just one of those things where they're trying to intimidate you into going along with uh, with their program, and I would recommend ignoring it. And if they come and they send an agent, have her have a video camera charged up and ready to go. Yeah. And then if she wants to talk to them, first of all, she can ignore them. She doesn't have to open the door. But if you open oh, the door with a video camera, all. it's going to make them pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, no, she won't talk to. Her. She, she's Irish. She's not going to talk to him at all. She's not paying a fine, and and heaven help them if they take her to jail. It's it's uh it's just a situation where it's getting kind of nerve wracking because she she doesn't answer the phone for him. She mm -hmm. uh like say the she gets the FedExes. She takes them, checks to see if it's something legitimate, and then she throws them away. But it, I was just trying to ease her mind because I, I basically told her the same thing. If she just ignores it long enough. In all probability, they'll go on and pester somebody else. I, although I would like to have what they spent on FedEx, but I guess they got it from me in the first place, so it doesn't matter. Ron, good suggestions. I support your suggestions to her, and I thank you for calling and sharing that with us tonight. Our toll-free number 
is 855 450 free. The, uh, the even with the census, uh, I remember they came to my house twice. I brought my video camera out there and I refused to answer any of their questions. I'm not. Some people are their position is well. I think that I should answer the first question. That's the constitutional thing to do. As though you signed the Constitution. As though you have some obligation to answer their questions. What if Keith came and asked you the questions personally? Keith is a local <laughs> activist who worked actually for the census, right? right? Um, no, I they still wouldn't answer his question. <laughs> they came to my house, and I wrote down the uh, like. I asked the same questions to the lady that she asked of me, and I wrote down her answers on a piece of paper because I think I, I just mm-hmm. wanted to show how strange this is. Yeah, you know, yeah, okay. And and what's what's your husband's name? Uh huh. You know, like it's weird stuff. I uh, I openly refuse to answer their questions, and they never did anything to me. We're coming up. In free talk life. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pillow. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Which order you going to display? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't gonna make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, you got it wrong. Whoa. Hey! Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Why are you running from me? Because you're scared of me. Property. What am I being now. detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The easiest thing in the world for a reader to do is to stop reading, according to the late, great Barney Kilgore, who became managing editor of the Wall Street Journal in 1941 and grew the paper's circulation from 33,000 to 1 million by the 60s. And he'd be pleased to know that his paper is one of the few that people now pay to read online. Someone else pre-internet who realized that attention is fragile? Motown Records founder Barry Gordy. In the early 60s, when his label dominated the charts, he'd bring a dozen real people into the Hitsville, USA studios and audition songs. And he'd ask, if you were down to your last dollar, would you spend it on this record or would you buy a sandwich? Today, attention span seems like an oxymoron. For tips on cutting through the clutter, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. 
You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you want. Just dial toll-free 855-450-FREE. That is 855-450-3733. And join us on Skype. If you have it, you may call into Skype at username lrn.fm. But you do have to send a contact request first. Uh, that's to keep the riffraff away. So send the contact request and uh, it will be approved. And you can join us on the phones as well. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com where we've got all kinds of great features including our brand new weekly digest email. You can get signed up for that by going to news.freetalklive.com and get on our email list. We send this out uh, on a weekly basis. It's a summary of uh, some of the most popular stories as voted and submitted by you, listeners like you, to our website. It's also got a link to our weekly digest audio file, which is kind of a, not a summary, but a highlights reel, if you will, put together by one of our dedicated listeners, Benjamin Bartholomew, on a weekly basis. He he kind of, uh, I guess, takes clips from the show from the full week's worth of Free Talk Live and takes it all down into a 75-minute package. So you can get that in your email box weekly and occasional updates about other things that uh, we find important by signing up for our news updates list go to news.freetalklive.com you may also follow us on facebook google plus and twitter for updates during the show photos and you know memes things like that so go to news.freetalklive.com johnson uh we have been teasing it all night long and finally <laughs> i don't know finally, how far we're gonna get but we i do have to say this you know, to get more than a paragraph, I, this article is from Slime.com. I warned you guys that it's going to be very negative, very despicable. So you're going to have to hold your angst for more than a sentence at a time if it's for us to get anywhere near I this. I feel like we should just jump, just, just skip just the intro into it and, and jump into the first well, uh, the intro hypocrisy. Kind of, the no, intro no, let's, t- yeah. does build it up a little bit. You just it, have to hold the angst right. in. You're just going to have to hold it a little bit Zip until, it, until it overflows. Zip it. Just hold on to it until it's like... I can't hold on to this anymore. (laughs) So, okay. They call themselves realists, but they rely on fanciful theories that have never predicted real-world behavior. They claim that selfishness makes things better for everybody, when history shows exactly the opposite is true. They claim that a mythical free market is better at everything than the government is. Yet, when they really need government protection, they're the first to clamor for it. That's no reason not to work with them on areas where they're in agreement with people like me. In fact, the unconventionality of their thought has led libertarians to be among the nation's most forthright and outspoken advocates for civil liberties and against military interventions. Merriam-Webster defines hypocrisy as feigning to be but what one is not or to believe what one does not. We aren't suggesting that every libertarian is a hypocrite, but there's an easy way to find out. This is sounding familiar. The other libertarianism. First, some background. There is a kind of libertarianism that's nothing more or less than a strain of the American psyche, an emotional tendency towards individualism and and personal liberty. That's fine and even admirable. We're talking about that other libertarianism, the political philosophy whose avatar is the late writer Ayn Rand. It was once thought that this extreme brand of libertarianism, one that celebrates greed and even brutality, had died. I I, I can't hold it anymore. Sorry. (laughs) Uh, The Ayn Rand thing. Yes, the woman's a great. She's not even a libertarian. The great thinker, but she hated libertarianism. And this is the broad brush thing. Go ahead. (laughs) Many Rand acolytes had already gone underground, repressing or disavowing the more extreme statements of their youth, and even attempting to blend with more mainstream schools of thought in respectable occupations. There was a good reason for that. Randian libertarianism is an illogical, impractical, inhumane, unpopular set of utopian ravings which lacks internal coherence and has never predicted real-world behavior anywhere. That's why, reasonably enough, the libertarian movement evaporated in the late 20th centuries (laughs) and and its followers scattered like the wind. Pay to play. But the li- you know, everything you've ever heard about uh, li- libertarians is, is that first, um, you know, the, where, where did, before Ron Paul came along, it was essentially, where did you hear about libertarianism? And the answer was uh, Rand or Heinlein. Right. These were the two answers. Then Brown was another answer. And then Ron Paul has been essentially the huge, the biggest answer right. of, of them all. 
Well, is this is this straw manning where they set up Ayn Rand and Rand Paul? I guess is pictured in the article as the as though these are the bellwethers of uh, libertarianism, and then they proceed to to beat on them and claim that they've defeated libertarianism no, when neither no. one of those two people even self describes as a libertarian. No, I think that there's some some rational points to be addressed, but let's let's get further so we can get to them. <laughs> that is what they're doing here, though, right? I mean, Somewhat. They're, they're using Ayn Somewhat. Rand. They're pointing to her and saying she is this. Uh, She's all that is libertarian when she herself somewhat, did but that's not like easy to do for these liberal arguments. I mean, that's that's what happens with this is that there's they get so much wrong that they're they're throwing straw men and a bunch of other logical fallacies on top of that. But I think just goes to show they don't know what they're, they're talking about when it comes to libertarianism. True, but I think that there are some reasonable points that do get addressed here. So, continuing. The libertarian movement has seen a strong resurgence in recent years. There's a simple reason for that. The money. Uh, <laughs> Than personal <laughs> interests of some people who have a lot of it. Once relegated to drug-fueled college dorm bull sessions, r- political libertarianism suddenly had pretensions of legitimacy. This is revival as a coke-fueled, not coke-fueled. K O C H, yeah, like Coke, the coke brothers. brothers. Right, and, and these, these are the favorites to make yeah. fun of. Who are also not yeah. libertarians, from what I can tell. I, I don't know whether that's the case or not. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't had, ever had a chance to sit down with Charles or whatever his brother's name yeah. is, David Coke, and have a conversation with them. Um, you know, because. But they don't have anything to do with Free Talk Live, but you know there's there's liberal money men out there and there's conservative money men out there. But for some reason or another, the people who are the libertarian money men are the giant boogeymen. All right, I'm going to skip past this junk about the Koch brothers. It's just them railing on about the usual conspiracy. The rich, it's about the rich people to drive me to be. Let's be fair though, Mark. The, uh, the there's like conservative people who always blame Soros, right? So they're, they're yeah. every side has their the rich people that they they blame for conspiracy. Well, I, what I have to give the credit to for the, the the progressive side here is is that they see what's coming. They realize the Republican Party. Uh, and I'm a registered Republican and an, and an elected office holder, a uh, Republican. Mm-hmm. The Republican Party is on the way out. It is the party of yesterday. So they're attacking the upstarts. So, yeah. They see what's coming down the pipe. Republicans only have a chance if they get rid of the moral majority crap and they pick up the libertarian uh, petard and they display that. They I, need to get rid of the whole, um, you know, uh, the whole bigotry, the whole. I'd like uh, to move on stuff. from this because this is. I mean, we're talking about the straw men and why are we focusing on the straw men? Because okay. that's not the meat of the issue. I mean, let's just. Move past that because it's not important. All right. So I'm skipping past this particular section where they're talking about the Koch brothers because it's pointless. So we still haven't gotten to the first yeah. alleged hypocrisy. So they right? said, here's the pro- The problem is, and they're talking about this Koch brothers thing, it's only a dream. At no time or place in human history has there been a working libertarian society, blah, 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 blah. The libertarian self-created mythos claims that it's more realistic than other ideologies, which they say is the opposite of the truth. The slope from that contradiction to the deep well of hypocrisy is slippery, steep, and easy to identify. That's where the libertarian hypocrisy test comes in. Let's say we have a libertarian friend and we want to know whether or not he's hypocritical about his beliefs. How would we go about conducting such a test? The best way is to use the tenets of his philosophy to draw up a series of questions to explore his belief system. The Cato Institute's key libertarian concepts mixes universally acceptable bromides like the rule of law and individual rights with principles that are more characteristically libertarian and therefore more fantastical. Since virtually all people support the rule of law and individual rights it is the other concepts which they are uniquely libertarian in the form the basis of our first few questions the institute cries spontaneous order for example as the right the great insight of libertarian social analysis cato defies that principle thusly order in a society arises spontaneously out of the actions of thousands or millions of individuals who coordinate their actions with those of others in order to achieve their purposes to which the discerning reader might be tempted to ask like Where, exactly? Libertarians define spontaneous order in a very narrow way, one that excludes demonstrations like the Arab Spring, elections which install progressive governments or union movements, to name three examples. And yet, I think the union, union movements right. are absolutely people, uh, you know, no, no, I disagree. People protesting, are, that's absolutely a market force. 
uh, people creating unions are absolutely a market force. How much further do we have to go to get to the first alleged hypocrisy? Johnson? That's one. That's, 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 that's one of the first one. Oh, okay. That's the, <laughs> Not, I'm there. used to hearing number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get to that. Uh, we'll come. We'll come back here with a little bit more in moments. Eight fifty five, four fifty three. We'll never get through all eleven of them. No, uh, but that's okay. We'll share the article with you on our Facebook, etc. More coming up here in moments. It is free talk live. Everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins. Isn't there like a Bitcoin General Store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Do you really know how pure your water is? It's taken for granted that bottled water and even home filtered water is pure, but it is not the purest water you can drink. There is only one way to get the purest water, and that's with a new appliance that no healthy kitchen should be without, an H2O Labs countertop home water system. Go to h2olabs.com to order yours now, and you will be drinking the purest water you've ever had, guaranteed. Go to h2olabs.com, that's h2olabs.com. Free Talk Live. How dare you, and who do you think you are? I mean, it's my life, it's my business, I should be able to run it how I want to, and my customers should be able to make the choice for themselves as to whether or not they want to do business with me. And they should be able to make that choice based on uh, the quality of my product, or my reputation, or the fact that I've got third-party certification, or whatever factors they deem important. If I'm doing business and you don't trust me, or you think I'm shady, then you don't have to do business with me. In fact, you can tell other people what you think about my business and my practices, and Maybe they also will join you in not doing business with me. There's no need for government regulations out there. The marketplace can handle third-party certification of various different products and services to where people who are concerned about whether or not the business they're dealing with is trustworthy can check with a verifiable resource that, indeed, this is a trustworthy individual or a trustworthy company that you're doing business with. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. (laughs) 
This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything, even these remaining moments, by dialing toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Hopefully, we'll get through another one or two of the alleged libertarian hypocrisies, but also we'll take your calls. And you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You know, most people want to get ahead in life, and nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade more people toward freedom. But did you know that some of the solutions that claim to help you grow actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. Now, Dr. Matt Barney, the founder, a founder of LeaderAmp, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what works. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application that will measure each person and tailor a customized developmental plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone. His vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, it will also allow you to uh, compare your leadership with famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs to help you see that they weren't perfect but overcame their own limitations with practice. Now, the app isn't ready yet. It's being built right now. But it's going to be a huge step forward in the technology of uh, development. I mean, you know, this is going to, this is the, this is the next big thing, as it were. It's one thing to write books. It's one thing to do seminars. Who's done the, you know, the, the app that tests you with a computer to see where you need to, to get better? And you can help out, uh, join the community, and help advance an approach to grow freedom lovers' persuasion skills by going to their Indiegogo campaign and pre-ordering by visiting leaderamp.freetalklive.com. You can amp your leadership. That's leaderamp.freetalklive.com. That'll take you right to their Indiegogo page so you can help them out and uh, get some perks. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. We go to the phones and your thoughts. Wit is in Paradise Valley, Arizona. Wit, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnson and Mark. Thanks for taking me on, Ian. Wit, what's on your mind tonight? Well, I'm not sure what you would call it when you uh, suggest that somebody's not a libertarian because they don't agree with you. But uh, I should like to say I believe in freedom, too, and spreading it throughout the land, of all lands. By on force, Earth, right, Wit? Sometimes you absolutely have to use force because yeah, there are oppressors all over the world. But anyway, okay. go ahead with whatever yeah, you were calling about tonight. No, I'm not a libertarian to you. But, no, you're just uh, not a libertarian at do. all, because words have meanings. No, wait, words talking? have meanings. If, you, if you're if going to use force, then you're not a libertarian, because that's the whole meaning of the word libertarian, is that somebody who does not believe in using ever... force for political or social gain. Okay, and then the founding fathers were aggressors. They and sure I were. Them for being such. Just as I know that you said it was sickening. You call my view sickening because yeah, that's I, right. Because you support bombing I, people. I defended the. Well, I defend the bombing of Nagasaki. By the way, how many times did the United States of America drop an atom bomb after August ninth, nineteen forty-five? Even though we have tens and thousands of them, and we have been on aggressive wars that you would call them many since then. And how many times have we dropped an atomic bomb? Not once, sir. But I should like to, again. To, you said something to this. A kid, AC, about uh, me uh, having parents or grandparents that I should talk to. Well, my parents were 20 and 24, respectfully, the day Nagasaki was shut down as a munitions town forever, sir. And like them and millions of their fellow Americans were, ha were happy with the result and thought that it was a justified use of atomic weaponry. Well, and not just politicians. Argumentum mind. ad populum. That's where you appeal to no, popularity to justify that. your terrible ideas. Okay, sir. It's easy for you to say in the year of your Lord, 2014, to say oh, that. Lord. But again, yep, our Lord, our Creator. It's all the same. Not and by mine. the way, to my Republican friend, my fellow Republican <laughs> friend over there, my fellow Republican 
not that a Republican. Moral majority stuff isn't just crap. Witt doesn't even know who he's talking yeah. to. Yeah. Witt, right. He's Witt's talking to me. Um, yeah, the moral majority stuff absolutely is crap, and it's what's ruining the Republican Party, Witt. Um, this whole, you know, our that. God is better than your God stuff is going to blow the freaking planet that. apart. You're a man who advocates for the use of the atom bomb. Um, you're, you advocate for the subjugation of the people in the Middle East. You could care less about them having self-actualization as long as this country gets oil. You're not a libertarian, sir. You just said a bunch of stuff that I never said, and you're attributing it to me. That's, That's called lying. The, it's called projection. They're the same thing. They're li- you're all lying. somebody has to do and is I listen to your calls, from. Wit, and they'll yeah, know I've been listening that you're to you. You've called many times, Wit. Advocate the use of, uh, when did I ever advocate, advocate the use of atomic uh, weaponry? You celebrate it. I never. No, I defended the second and only second time atomic weapons have ever been used, thank God. About the other stuff about my God is better than yours. I never said a, such a thing. I do believe the same God that it's created me created you and every other fellow, fellow human being on Earth. And I never advocated... Uh, I've never used the M word in a disparaging sense on your station, although I've been accused of it M-word? not only by you, but by some kid named AC. I don't even know and what you're talking about. I have no idea. idea. Um, you said that I bashed Muslims. I've never bashed Muslims on your station. Never. I never used the M word to begin with. When you advocate. I agree with the kid that I bashed Muslims. But why can't you first tell the truth, then give your opinion, and stop projecting beliefs onto other people and then, then tearing them down by you, making up false. Uh, False things about them, and then tearing them down. Which do you is think that the Christian? Hairs. Do you think the Christian religion is better than the Muslim religion? I believe Jesus Christ is our Lord. I do not believe Muhammad is uh, uh, Allah's messenger. I do not believe Allah is God. That and sounds I can obvious. That on this stage, and thank God. But if I went over in the east of Israel, which you uh, have just suggested, we're occupying the Middle East. I guess I can go on Israeli radio and says. Uh, Allah is not God, and Muhammad is not his messenger. But if I go east of Israel and say that, I'll be dead within the end of the day, for sure. So you're, who's... who's uh, well, let me ask you this so question one, like more huh? one, more, go, one more time. One more time, Witt. Here's the question I want to ask you. You didn't answer it the last time I asked you, and I'm going to ask, ask it to you again. Am I responsible to pay for this war machine? It's against my religion. I'm a Quaker. I've been. I'm involved in a peace church that's been a peace church for 300 years. All right, dude. I know what Quakers are. I get it. You Am I responsible for paying for your sick you war machine? You asked and answered your own question. If you call it a war machine, you asked and answered your own question. I'll never be able to convince you otherwise. I know you have your beliefs. So yes, yes you have to pay your I've tax. got to pay for the remote yes. control airplanes that uh, Barack Obama and the U.S. Uh, military uses to kill people. They're killing people that want you dead. All That's not, Quakers, d- all do Christians, I have to pay? I don't That's care the whether they want to kill me. I don't back. care if Muslims want to kill me. They're the aggressors, not Goodbye, us. Wit. Yep. They are the aggressors. All Muslims are. They want you dead. Well, wait a minute. Uh, I had a Muslim in my home recently, and he didn't try to kill me. Is he not a real Muslim in that case? Just the Maybe he just doesn't know that you don't believe that Allah is God. It's so clear that, uh, and by the way, uh, I'm part of a church, the Shire Free Church, that welcomes Muslims. In fact, that that particular Muslim helped us craft the wording on the Shire Free Church website at church.shiresociety.com. So this ridiculous uh, collectivizing the uh, Muslims as as though they all have the same viewpoint, they're all just a bunch of murderers, and everybody that's being killed by the military, they're all bad people. You want to talk about pretty clear that he doesn't like Muslims. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's transparent. Let's at least, I I mean, that's what I... If you're going to be a bigot, just go ahead and admit it. I'll admit it. I don't like Muslims. I don't like Christians either. Well, that's not very nice. No, it's not. It's really not. But you know what? Have you met Davi Barker? He's a really nice guy. I sure have. I've also met a ton of Christians, and I don't, it's not... You don't like them all? It's not not the people, it's the beliefs that I don't like. Well, then... There are then tons be careful, of then, because it sounds like you're sure, not the people. Sure, and there there are tons of people that hold beliefs that I don't like. That's a more accurate statement. Sure, that you don't like the beliefs, not right. the human being. Right. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's go and continue here. Oh no, uh, so another the, person dropped off. I was going to say the more that the uh, the more that that belief defines that person, though, the less I would like that person. Generally. Yeah, you know what I dislike uh, is people who advocate killing innocent people. What I dislike about Wit it. is he calls late in the show. If you want to bring up a big topic, don't do it in the last segment. Well, you know, it's a, we don't know why Wit calls late in the show, but he does tend to do either the second to last or the last segment 
Uh, there was a night previous where he called second to last segment, but there were other calls who were holding prior to him, so he didn't get into the last segment. He's but busy yeah. listening to the Andy Dean show. Mark, are you uh, are you inviting Wit to call earlier in the show? That'd be nice. I guess. <laughs> I don't find Wit's <laughs> calls to be very nice at all or desirable, but... You know, it is good conflict, I suppose, for the radio. We'll be back tomorrow night. You can join us online in the meantime. And if you want to have a, well, a, a more detailed conversation, at this point, it's like, call earlier. You've called me names. Like, he calls in with this uh, this ongoing thing. I'd like him to call in with an issue. Yeah. This is what I want to discuss, and I want to go back and forth on it. I'd also like to have the back and forth rather than the sort of interrupting thing that goes on on both sides. Mm. And I, I, It I, does I, tend to go on and on yeah. and on. Well, I, right. I mean, I, I wish the, it, the ideas were delivered in short clips. See you tomorrow night. Freetalklive.com We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasing.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news.